on today's episode of Based After Dark. If you straighten your life out before you have a kid. I, I will Dude, say- we should do that to alcoholics. We should make them have kids. I, I, like, I will say there's a- there, I wanted to leap down to the concrete that was below, and I was just sitting- Bro, that's what you should have done, dude. You should have just shanked one and then just jumped <laughs> off. <laughs> Part of me thought it was rational and normal to DM you like, hey, how was the Starbucks? How was the Frappuccino or whatever? But I realized, like, that's schizophrenic. I wish you, know, you did, dude. Like, no, I wish like, you did, bro. Oh, like, uh, oh. Based. After dark. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to season two, episode 39 of Based After Dark. Today, we are gathered together with Zoe Pancakes, Tasty Life, myself, T Papa Slice, Hamzy underscore IRL, Krylax, Nine Rain, and a special guest later. We got Asterix coming on, so this is going to be cool. Woo! We love it. Fucking good. How we doing? Our patrons. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry, the patrons. My bad. The merch. Sorry, T Papa Egoju. We do have a whole new merch line out. Got some of the best artists in merch makers in the category. We got Ubru, Mitchy Fox, Mr. Whale. Lots of good shit out there. Check it out if you haven't yet. What's good? We got a packed house today, man. Yeah, really I'm is signing cool. my lease right now. Sorry. <laughs> Give me a sec. You're, You're moving? Yes. That's fine. No, like you doing right now? Now? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, yeah no, it's, it's year, our right? landlords bugging us. Yeah, well, they're making us move out. Um, but, mm. like, they gave us very little notice. So we're like, can we please do, like, month to month until we actually move out? And they're like, yeah, fine. I feel no, like we're, this we're has been good. a long saga for you. Dude, yeah, it is. Um, however, I am finally moving downtown, uh, downtown Phoenix, wow. which is where all the cool, that's where like bisexuals live. Oh, yeah, you'll fit right in. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be. You're going to have sick. a lot of Patreon stories. It's going to be perfect. <sighs> I'm going to have so many Patreon stories. Oh, man. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, man. Damn. Damn. I signed it. We're good. Month to month, though. Yeah, Shit, same man. price, dude. No, our landlords are super cool. It's like this old married couple, and they're all their kids are like gone, and they went to college. No, they're not dead. They're you know they moved out. You know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? Thank God. <laughs> yeah. Our kids are gone. They moved to college, so they didn't need the big house, so they like moved to a smaller one. And now we're and now they're taking it back because one of them has cancer or something fucking selfish like that. So they're how did they decide to get kid. cancer? It's an idiotic move. Truly, it's so truly stupid. An idiotic move. It's not it's even good in the short term, really. So I don't know what you're, they're doing. I it's mean, good I guess in the it's short term. It's pretty bad in the long term, actually. Like, well, that's, I mean, that's I guess really if, you, if you pull off living, kind of badass. If you pull off Yeah, living, no, that's like, true. That's, that's true, point. actually. That be, you could, like, use sick. that against anybody for the rest of your life. Yeah, you know? yeah it's sure, like ignoble pulling the race car. You could do it forever. You know what I mean? He does that so often. I actually started playing, a little embarrassing, started playing League. On occasion, with Ignoble. Can we kick him out of the call? I'm with sorry, Ignoble, guys. You I, also I, rat on Ignoble in this. Yeah, 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 you're yeah. bringing him down with you, yeah, dude. No, no, no. The embarrassing part is the Ignoble part. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, anyways, nah, he he pulls that card every like every game, bro. He's like, dude, but I'm brown. We didn't have the same advantage. I'm like, Ignoble, dude. Like, you're a doctor. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you did fine. <laughs> No, but you grew up in a five bedroom house. I don't yeah. want to fucking hear it. Dude. Like, you're fucking fine. Oh, my goodness. Did he really? <laughs> five I don't know. He, a- he fucking acts like he it. Acts dude. Like he probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Most so likely. You can does. tell. You can tell. Yeah. Um, I, I do have a question for you guys, though, that I wanted to ask. So, who the fuck got RuneFest tickets today? And oh, who is getting uh, them from Jagex? And who bought them? And Jagex, who's baby. fucked? Cause I'm uh, fucked. Yeah. Sit so <clears throat> I like I. If you're in the content creator Discord with him, I guess we get it for free. Annie got fucked, bro. I, I was I was gonna get Annie a ticket out. Annie doesn't have a ticket again, I so know. like I don't know. Yeah. They're, they're so gonna annoying. release more. I guarantee they're gonna find a way to sell more tickets. Like so, they have. Yeah. They sold out in five minutes. But that that makes yeah. me so worried. Like let's say they sell another 200, 300 tickets, they're right? Gone. Yeah. Like, dude, oh, like that's gonna be minute. so hard no, to get like those. Two minutes, like, man, it was. I was, I was here. I was streaming. I was live. Like, we were. Li- I was. Li- my stream was still going. I had people in the chat talking about it, and the website went up, and it was instantly sold out. And then you had people also saying, like, five minutes later, that they refreshed and were able to buy a ticket. 
Mm-hmm. So the the site Damn. was like super janky. Yeah, for contact. I think it's like people had it uh, had it, like held it in their cart. Like especially if you use like oh, one of those like yeah. botting things, then it just like holds it in the cart for a really long time and then kind of so, yeah, releases it. That's yeah, uh, that's yeah. the context. Uh, Runefest tickets went on sale early this morning and they instantly sold out. They're saying that they were all bought by bots and scalpers. So now and, Jagex is trying to that? take. Like not by they you mean not Jagex, right? Jagex no, said the, it's the not. Pick, the tickets they said that it wasn't bought by bots yeah yeah uh, yeah i mean they definitely bought by scalpers i don't think but also like 2000 tickets is not a lot i was about like to it's say, really not it's really say, not i agree with with zoe there because i feel like the community since the last rune fest has grown so much and so much influx of people now and it, think about all and the they haven't had it in four all years of your three yeah years. yeah, yeah. people are just Extra so hype. excited for it i think way more than two thousand people are ready to buy tickets i think for, we for know two thousand people yeah who want to go easily. like exactly <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. i mean and, they could easily sell like five thousand. i would get okay so like what can you do for me <laughs> so like my current okay my current uh a thing that i'm just gonna hopefully get like insomnia 73 tickets for annie and just like i don't know just like hopefully that's cool enough and uh, i would just wait honestly maybe there's wait. some be some ticket you know swapping like i don't i don't know what to do man. pull a pull a uh hamsey and just have her push you around in like a wheelchair and then she's like oh that's my handler would like, you push me around me. in a wheelchair at runefest my handler and he said yes handler. and he said she'd push me around yeah, in the wheelchair or just put her have her, have her put you on like one of those backpack leashes they put on unruly children that just like okay. walk in like and i could be, I could be your handler tasty i'll walk you in on a yeah. leash Okay. I've got a ticket. I've just, okay. we got a, oh no, we're getting you in. Yeah, yeah, we can yeah, yeah you're getting me in. We can get back to the tickets thing, but how many of you would actually put your children? Were any of you leash kids? Hell no, 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 no dude. No, no, I had a leash when I was like skiing when I was really tiny. Oh yeah, yeah, but, but that's that was like more of like a safety If you thing. get away, you're gonna go down Die. the hill and yeah, yeah okay. you're done for. Isn't that the but same would, purpose? And would though, any of you ever away? put a kid on a leash like that? <laughs> okay, I mean, it's not around my, their neck. It's like a backpack, right? The backpack. My leash. favorite thing ever. They have like okay. When I worked in New York, I worked like at, by this preschool, and um, our building had like huge open windows, so I got to see everybody that walked by. And there were always field trips that would go by, and they had like literally like twenty kids with backpack yeah. leashes that are all attached on one oh, string, yeah. and then the teacher like leads them down. That's how they like get to their field trip location. Is they have like a fucking train of backpack I leashes that are all connected. Of see that it was We've so cute. Like city sense. and you need yeah, to yeah, transport. Yeah. Children, yeah, but like yeah. if you're a parent and you only got one, that it always seemed like so degrading to the child. Look, I, think I, yeah, I, I won't blame them. I'm not, I don't think I do that personally, but I'm not gonna <laughs> no. judge them. I don't have a kid, I'm gonna judge I don't know what the fuck it's I don't like. Fucking, if, if you're, no, you're gonna have a kid, you're having a kid in like six months, dude. We if you're fucking a back know you, back back okay. leash father, you're a piece of shit. Oh, I was like, I'm not gonna judge the mothers before. because they might be single moms out there, and I don't know what that's yeah. like. But if you're so, a so back women back can't leash, handle a child, is no, that what you're trying to say? I'm a woman and I could not handle a child on my own. I'm saying, I'll just say that right now. I'm not gonna to speak for them they can judge each other I, i'm happy saying that if you're a backpack leash dad you fucked up like somewhere along the way yeah I like honestly know. like get they're control just, of your just, kid uh, bro there's a there's a single dad out there with three kids right now that's just crying he's so overwhelmed and the only thing that's holding life together is, is these the leashes bro the and he's listening <laughs> to the pod and he's just you know what i have yeah. nothing i can't please anybody yeah yeah okay he gets a pass I think I dad with three children gets a pass. Fine. I There's exceptions out there, but because uh, I worked in the res- in a resort, and there occasionally were backpack kids that would come through, and occasionally they were some of them deserved it. I think, or there was no other way because these kids would <laughs> run off, and then their parents would just yank them back, and they would like go flying, and like it was crazy. It was like an unruly dog. I, I gotta feel like good. if I was a backpack kid, I'd be trying to get away. So like. Maybe yeah. you're kind of shooting yourself mm. in the foot 
putting your kid on a leash. Yeah, it kind of it entices them to get away more because there is that level of control. Yeah, They're like, yeah, I gotta yeah, escape. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's that's yes. a good point. Dude. There's probably I gotta some get out. I gotta get out. There. You know, <laughs> probably a certain level mm. of cope by the parents too. They're like, well, if we just survive the years where they're like this, then I can take the leash off, and they'll be. Oh <laughs> hell no! I can take the leash off. off. When you no, we're about to see some seventeen-year-olds with backpack leashes on, bro. Like we're gonna see that shit soon. Yeah. Huh. What if you oh, leashed you know, your kid and they like you never leashed them at an age? where they could remember at one point would you ever tell them at one point like that you hey man did you know you were a leash kid like i would tell them for sure if they've been hmm. misbehaved i'll be like, i'll put you back on the fucking leash you know like you, uh, <laughs> yeah gonna huh. get there well okay, I, I, a... I do know that like when you're like when you're like 13 you start losing the i remember being in like well middle school and I, you kind of lose the first couple years of your life really like there's some memories but w like my nephew for example he's three and if I ask him about anything in the past, like, two years, really, he remembers it. And so, like, you would know you were a leash kid the whole time, I feel like. I don't know. I've got a philosophical enough. question. I've got a philosophical question for you. <laughs> okay, would, you okay. rather <laughs> raise, would you rather have a leash kid or an iPad kid? I was just <laughs> thinking iPad that. Kid. Leash kid. Yeah. Leash, leash kid for kid, sure. Right? Uh, uh, oh, I mean, sure, the dude. iPad is iPad also, kid. it's iPad also a kid. leash, but it leashes their brain, and so they can't right. physically, you know, like get but, to the world I can, around. I can control crazy. the dosage of the iPad. I can control. You, but that's not my iPad kid. kid. iPad for your, I you can't microdose, microdose my kid. IPad. IPad. My, I can, my, yeah. my, I was the microdose iPad kid. I was that. Yeah, but that's not iPad. Like an iPad kid. You know, okay, it's the concept okay. of like the what an iPad like they're getting withdrawal they symptoms. The... So my, my my thing would be the kid doesn't want the leash, but the kid, the, the iPad like has the kid, you know, like you're going to be fighting that battle like, oh, all the yeah, time. I've seen. Yeah, both. you I've probably. They OK, the here's the, the difference, iPad though. In the hand. Like they got to like got if you take the leash off of the fucking kid, they're going to be like, fuck, yeah, let's go. If you take the iPad away from the kid, they want it backed. Right, they desire right. they desire their the pad. Gene. You know what I mean? <laughs> they, yeah. They yearn for the pad. Stockholm, <laughs> their Stockholm syndrome is what it is. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I would be well, one is a drug to... and one is forceful control. You know what I mean? Like Yeah, well, would you rather your government be like overbearing or like Get you hooked on opioids. Let's not get. Oh, okay. Isn't there a whole book about that? <laughs> taking opioids, book, dude. I'm taking opioids. I was expecting the second part of that. Of like, I know. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm, this isn't fiction. It's just like, I think I'd pick the government that is, you know, totalitarian that I can at least fight against rather than like, oh, shit. I didn't know it was in the water. Now I want this. The four oh. eyes, brother. I thought you were four just talking about the U.S. Everybody. when you said that. I was. <laughs> Wait, are we still talking about iPads and leashes? I don't you know. Guys yeah, now. You guys uh, dude, either actually, way, the goal is to not use either. I think, but fair I mean, enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I yeah, okay, honestly. all right. I didn't mean to de derail it too far. We were talking about RuneFest tickets, and I just thought backpack kid leash thing was. I'm gonna walk Tasty on interesting. in on a leash at RuneFest so that they yeah, let me in. Me up, yeah. I'm, yeah. I, I will say, I'm pretty. Is Max I'm, is like six inches taller than he. You got a leech, and he's just. He's gonna be walking on all fours. <laughs> and he's gonna be wearing a leather. He's gonna be wearing a leather mask too. Dude, just I'll put wear, my harness on, dude. Uh, <laughs> he'll just wear you like a backpack, you know. Aww. He's like one of those guys on your shoulders, around like, and puts you down. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like one of those, I, I, I think like a mount in like a video game or something. He's got the <laughs> yeah, yeah. On. Like he's I'm like the riding. little guy on the big guy, you know. <laughs> You know what's Aww. funny? Because, like, thinking about the, the RuneFest thing, like, back when they had RuneFest in 2017, basically everybody was in their teens or, 20, like, early 20s and single. And now everybody who's going, like, like, maybe half of the people who were single then are no longer. That immediately changes the amount of people going by 50%. Mm-hmm. Because it's an international Jagex. trip for almost everybody. And yeah. so and, and most of the problems that people had with it were like, look, I just was gonna go with my partner or wife or whoever, and now they don't get to go. Like I'm I'm doing a London trip with Bree. I didn't get a ticket. They were sold out before I got out of bed. So 
Either they release new tickets and I get lucky or we got to come up with something. Maybe we'll just hang out in Insomnia or... Yeah, know. we got to figure something out. We just what we got to do is like we got to we got to screw amount. everyone else, okay? We got to leverage the fact that we're creators and we got to get we got to allow them to let us get some creator plus 1 tickets and then Hamzy can be someone's plus 1. And then now everyone's Dude, taken care I, of and screw the normies. Like I, I you know I, w I will I have an say idea. like people cuz I, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's hear your idea. Yeah, yeah. No. No. Continue. I didn't want to interrupt you. I just well. Want to say no. That I was I gonna go on idea. a rant and uh, oh. we'll, I'll just hear your idea. <laughs> well, okay. So my I idea think it was is gonna be this. funny. It was just so. If you <clears> want to <throat> leverage being a creator, you have to do something at RuneFest. Like if you had a booth at RuneFest, or you had something that you could leverage like that, like do a podcast at RuneFest. The J mods listen like, to this podcast. Have base, Guys, help! The base <laughs> booth. You're listening to the podcast. If you had a base booth at RuneFest. Please help us. Yeah, we Please. need to get Annie. We need only to get hope. Brian. Hold we need on. to get Hamzy in. No one Please, else matters, we need, bro. Like, we got three really man. important people. <laughs> Pause. Yeah. Look, if you had a base booth and you could even do a collab with Mitchie because they already work with Mitchie and you could also collective merch out of this booth and you'd get a, a pass for being having a booth there to be in there. Without all right, now I don't want to work too ticket. hard to get Annie in. All right, let's. Just... All right. <laughs> I all might right. as well tits. buy a we need ticket off that one. of Scalper, that man. Take like... it out. <laughs> I think Take it could it be fun if we somehow did that. Like to to some extent, putting Hamzy in a suitcase and getting him in might be like the most like that. That Sneaking would be better. Sneaking Hamzy like, in that... is actually cooler that than him so buying a ticket. How about that a video? Cooler. Hold up, hear me out, dude. Really big trench coat. Really big. <laughs> you fucking feel I me on that one. I didn't think of that the first time. Tate's just gonna walk up with this massive fucking duster, make eye contact with the Yeezy at the door, be like, "Why, hello, Yeezy? Hey. I have grown a pituitary yeah, I'm gonna have tumor since the last time you saw me." Dude, yeah, just say it's your cosplay, man. Just say dollar. it's your cosplay. I use it doesn't care. The J mods want everyone to get in. Well, know? and also, no, that's true. That's true. I, I also cannot team. believe he needs plausible deniability though. I cannot it's believe true. that they that J Mods don't get a free ticket. Surely they do. I'm sure Surely they, they do. do. Really no. They're if you are work, free no, if you're going there to work, you get a free ticket. And it was it's been like this in years past too. But if you're just going as like I want to go to RuneFest. This I mean, is shocking the creators because are getting Jagex free... is known for know, being such a up. good company. Oh my god, I am flabbergasted. It's crazy <laughs> how much I like RuneScape and the old school team and have no love for Jagex the company whatsoever. <laughs> well, after we sold it, they went downhill. So real. We, yeah. I, we so fucked up, real. guys. We shouldn't have done we, that. We should buy it back. Hey, we yeah. got our bag. We got yeah, our it's bag. probably worth less now, actually. <laughs> that was, uh, I remember when we were in, when we were in Tennessee, every dinner we went to, this is a big ass group of people, every, uh, server would come up and ask us, what are you guys in town for? Oh, we would tell them we're celebrating that we just sold our company. Yeah. And if they asked, we'd tell them it was Jack X. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that in Vegas, good. it was Tob. The company was Tob, but oh, that's, that's good. That's a good, that's a good company name. Of, yeah. yeah, courtesy of T Papa. Yeah, it's yeah, short you. and punchy. Yeah, Top. I like it. Top. Hmm. That's sick. So we welcome Joel Rubishan. Welcomes Tob. Um. All right, we got a lot of stories we got to break into. We started talking before we got the podcast going, but we like had to cut ourselves off. Okay, so who do we go? We got Tasty's got some heat, and Crylex has got some heat. My mine's relatively short. So I'll, I'll pop it out there. And actually, it's related to the Leash Kids. You're okay. just oh. okay. wait for the roundabout. So <laughs> when excited. I was um, <clears throat> when I was a freshman in high school, this is going to sound like it's coming out of nowhere. But we were talking about people who shouldn't have kids before the podcast started. Okay. Um, when I was a freshman in high school, uh, I somehow became acquainted with this. Uh, he was a senior. Technically, he dropped out of school because he was really stupid and he got his GED. Very, very sweet kid, like just genuinely so nice, but really so fucking stupid. Um, dropped out, got his GED. He lived with his, his grandparents. And back in the day, I don't know if you guys remember a website called My Yearbook. Do, do you guys? I, do you guys I never heard of that. I remember that. No. It's, I, I it's MySpace remember that. exclusively for emo kids. It's emo for my emo space. kids. Yeah. Why did they call kids. it my yearbook then? I don't fucking know. I don't think that okay. was the goal, but that's just who it became popular. Oh, it was like okay. maybe, yeah, maybe whole, yeah, yeah. It was maybe the, the kids that never could expected. get. It's like they couldn't get normal kids to actually sign their yearbook, so they felt like like this was there. 
Dude, I don't that's know. fucked up, dude. That's, <laughs> that's messed up. I don't know, I gotta is, go there. I mean, I'm anyway, not putting, I'm not putting that on anybody. It just like could have been the case. <laughs> anyway, he was he was an 18 year old. He went on my yearbook and he started talking to this girl. Um, Hell I won't, yeah. I won't leak the real names, but we'll go with Chris and Mariah because those were their real names. Um, and <laughs> okay. he met this girl, Mariah, in my yearbook, and they started like talking. You know, she was a cutie patootie or something like that. He fell hook, line, and sinker. She started like sharing all this information about how like her home life is fucked up. Like she lived in a town that was like 45 minutes away. She really wanted to fucking get out of there. So before these two had ever met in real life, Chris goes to his grandparents and he's like, hey, can this girl move in with us? And they're like, sure. I don't know fucking why. I don't ask questions. So before sure. they ever met each other, they decided to move in. She left her family. She came over. Um, and I th she was like 17 or whatever at the time. He was 18. And <clears throat> she, like, immediately they just started fucking all the time. Because, you know, it's two fucking teenage kids. They're horny. Whatever. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. And she was like, I actually, like, I'm infertile. I can't get pregnant. Um, okay. So, like, you never have to wear a condom. It doesn't <laughs> matter. Face. Okay. <laughs> Which... <laughs> She was. That was a lie. <laughs> that was a lie. She was quite fertile, actually, because she got pregnant in like a fucking month. And not only that, she also lied about her age. She was 15. No. Oh, no. She was 15. She lied about that. She lied about not How being able to How old did she say she was? 17. 17. 17. Um, Why would you so, say you have an IUD? Make it that it's such a weird better, lie. But... Yeah, no, no, no. She's weird, a fucking. Yeah. She's like kind of a psycho. She's very manipulative. If you can't tell, um, so she baby trapped him on purpose. <gasps> Holy shit! <clears throat> and um, yeah, they. She's they broke, good. They bro they broke she's... up before the kid was born for obvious reasons, but she did have the kid, and I'm technically the godfather of that child. What? Oh my God! Congrats. Have you ever met the him? Godfather? No, I've never. Yeah, congrats, I have seen. Honestly. One picture of this child, and it was on a backpack leash. Oh, valid. That's yep. how, how it was, you. That's how it was related to the backpack children. leash. That's and it was. That's the only time I have ever seen the child. <laughs> it was on a backpack leash, dude. Yes, that's you. Oh, the tasty <laughs> merch. The Godfather. <laughs> the Godfather. The Aww, is he holding you. a chinchampa? What is that? What's the Godfather holding? Yeah. What yeah. is he holding? Little pet cat, dude. Oh, I, I it was there was like a like, layer on the how he pets it when he sits in his chair, he just pets yeah. its head, you know. Mm. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> so um, furry beast. <laughs> I'm gonna guarantee that kid is probably fucked up, probably yeah. not having the greatest uh time. Definitely. But <laughs> how old is how old is the kid now, dude? Now, <sighs> like 14. Damn, see him old enough to like... have a backpack kid of their own. Because I was a freshman <laughs> in high school when this happened. I think he was born when I was a sophomore. It, 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 dude. Wait, so this friend was older <laughs> than you? I don't question. know how it identifies. I don't know how it identifies. Dude, Fuck I you, mean, dude. you can. It just seems worse. To me, the baby uh, like, is. Do you see it, him? Dude. Like, like it do is... you like see him and talk to him, or you dead the kid? Grand. No. Great I don't talk to Godfather. either of those people anymore. Are you a dead I, I haven't. <laughs> I'm a Debbie Goff. I haven't talked to either of them since, like, probably sophomore year of high school. Maybe junior year of high school. I mean, how did you technically become the Godfather? Did they just say you're the Godfather? Or... Yeah, I was really good friends with Chris at the time. We hung out all the time. We would, like, sneak out and go smoke weed and shit. Um, Hell yeah. <laughs> with his kid. <laughs> no, no, no. This is, we were really good friends for like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like maybe eight when months, six months before oh. they met. And then she like entered the equation. And mm. I was like, yeah, I remember distinctly one time <laughs> we, I had like snuck out. We like smoked weed at their house. We were chilling in Chris's room. And like I was kind of laying on the bed, stoned out of my mind. And Mariah was like just laying on the ground. <clears throat> and I. She was pregnant at this time, but nobody knew. She didn't tell anyone yet, <laughs> but she knew. Um, and I was, like, so high, I was rolling around on the bed, and I accidentally, like, rolled off and, like, slammed on top of her. And she, like, it wasn't really that hard, but, it like, for a normal person to be like, ah, whatever. But she, like, freaked out. 
Yo, and I was like, this is bitches, bro. I was like, this is kind of silly. Like, what do you like? I'm really sorry, but like, this is like not an appropriate reaction. Like, I have an I accident. see, yeah. Because she had a baby inside her that I yeah. She crushed. had that mama. Turns bear out it was anger. probably fine. Um, it was probably worse that she smoked cigarettes and drank the entire pregnancy. No, yeah. no, that's <laughs> fine. Come on, you're making at, excuses at, for yourself. At yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. up because of you. At 60 years old. <laughs> you're right, you're yeah, yeah, no, I mean, dude. she was. She had been smoking cigarettes since she was like probably 12, I think. Well, okay. I think the yeah. alcohol is a lot worse. Than that's the damn. Cigarette. She's probably that's yeah, no, yeah. She didn't. She didn't drink a lot, but she did smoke like a pack a day. She's know? I bet either, she was really like, cool. Dude, either <laughs> kind of badass <laughs> or really it, nasty, but like, could be either one. No, she sucked. Okay, well, yeah, mm, she could have been the other one. <laughs> like at the time, at the time, I was like, oh, like she's fine, whatever. But looking him back, I'm like, holy fuck, she sucked. <laughs> uh, well, she probably had like say- a fucking terrible life, so I'm not gonna blame her too much. But like. Ah, she did suck, dude. She did yeah, suck. The benefit well. for Chris is he's almost done with child support by the time like he actually makes money. I guess they they co-parent. They drop the child off back and forth, as far as I'm aware. Dude, it's what? Insane. Could you imagine co-parenting like that? For that's insane. Wow, what a you know. What a, yeah, I hope they, like, I I hope they a never tell the kid. for the girl that they... lied. <laughs> but like, yeah, you know, seriously. like you love the kid, so I guess you know, poor kid's not a fault, dude. Damn, damn. Infertile or not, it was his fault for coming inside to be honest yeah dude yeah. we're doing coming inside i think i think both yeah, of them share a good that? a good slice of responsibility well first of all coming uh, inside is sick okay fuck yeah damn yeah so good time well also, man he didn't he didn't know that she lied about her age until uh they had to go to the doctor for like pregnancy checkups and like, oh he saw her age. For real, it's on the chart. Jeez. Damn, this girl's <laughs> a real crazy. piece of shit. That's crazy. Yeah, to do that to somebody. I mean, yeah. I know you're 15, so there, you, there's some grace, but Your like Jesus yeah, Christ. I mean, that's young. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I yeah, mean, there's like you, a lot of circumstance damn. that is not her fault at all. But like, yeah, still, <laughs> that's Jesus a terrible Christ. thing to like, do. What to do you somebody. do? You know, like, what do you do in that situation? La- I- uh, I understand why she smokes the cigarettes, dude. I get it. <laughs> like, <Hell> yeah. <laughs> yeah she got her little like what's that what's the like British street gang with the silly hats? The peaky they cut blinders. Peaky blinders? Yeah, she got her peaky blinders hat <laughs> and like a cigarette. <laughs> the I feel British like I'm picturing with her with a peaky hat. blinders hat. No, it's she be wore Cookie Rufus. Monster pajamas. Okay. Oh, now it's exactly. I know the vibe. Now it's that that like a monster. So no, you know much. exactly. exactly. You, I knew who she was that. the second you started saying everything. <laughs> I yeah. can smell yeah. her, yeah. bro. I know oh my her. God. I can smell her. You literally. Yeah, and like the tube top spaghetti strap. Yep. Like exactly. Smoking a pack of cigarettes. You know exactly Damn. who it is, dude. The second yeah. you said cookie monster pajamas, like those yeah. girls always get pregnant young. They yeah, yeah dude. Those like, are where's like where's that pe- kind of where's those clothes to <laughs> gym class? Did. That's the international flag for teenage pregnancy. Like it's <laughs> <insane>. <laughs> the cookie monster. Damn. Oh no. <laughs> it's kind of it kind of makes sense. I, uh, why is that so good? Yeah, huh? Jesus, that's sad. That, huh? that kind of segues <laughs> into a similar situation that I'm in, except it's nowhere cra- as crazy as that. But okay, <laughs> my best friend of like 12, 13 years, one of the longest friends I've ever had, because I moved around so much as a kid, I never kept friends for that long. But he stuck it out, and uh, he was dating another good friend of mine for like eight years, and they broke up. One of the reasons why is because he said he wasn't resi- ready to start a family, and she wanted a family. Anyway... So they break up after a long time. They weren't happy together, but he gets a new girlfriend who um, I, haven't, I hadn't met yet, but in less than three months, she's pregnant. So Ooh. that's a thing. And he, he calls me, right? He calls me on FaceTime. I have no idea. He doesn't FaceTime me that much, but when he does, it's usually just to catch up. I wasn't expecting any sort of crazy news. And he's in Hawaii with his family because his sister goes to college out there. And... Out of nowhere, he drops the bomb on me and just goes, hey, Paige, which is his girlfriend's name, is pregnant. And I was like, I lit- I'm i so happy I took a mental pause in this moment because I wanted to say, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> That's what I want to say. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? But I didn't. The first question I asked, which I was so proud of myself for this, I said, how do you feel about it? Oh, good one. Oh, That's a so good That's kind of, Damn. that is That's kind of, answer. uh... 
I don't know. I and feel like that that kind of is a negative. No, That's like he you knows me. Saying knows that me. you don't want to no, say anything no. bad. He's I, known I, me for I, I 12, disagree. I don't years. think so. No, I, your new girlfriend being pregnant is a very complicated thing. You don't. Yeah. You, no one would expect you to be immediately happy about that. I don't think. Yeah. And I, I said, like, how do you feel about that? And he was like, dude, honestly, I'm really happy about it. And then I was like, dude, that and in my mind, Great. I wanted to just say you're a dumbass for doing that. Was this but in person or this was on FaceTime. But wait, uh, it gets better. Yeah, it gets better. In, if, it, if you could see their face, you could be like, oh, that's wait to gauge their. He could see my reaction. face. He could Good. see my face. So he said, honestly, I'm really happy about it. What comes next is stupid because I asked I started talking to him about it. And he's like, yeah, I'm really happy about it, honestly. Because I've been dealing, he's like, I've been dealing with like some gambling problems, like some drinking problems, stuff like that. <laughs> and I really think having this kid is going to, you know, straighten my life out. And I was like, oh, what the fuck? I hope so. <laughs> no, no, yeah, that's that is not how <laughs> this works. That is not how this works. You straighten your life out before you have a kid. I, I Dude, will say we should do that to alcoholics. We should make them have kids. I, so I, I will say there's a, there is, however, a difference between saying I want to start a family and have a kid as mo and like making that a decision. Yeah. And yeah. So that you can solve your problems. Whereas going, okay, I am not ready to do this. I need a lot. I need to take accountability for a lot of stuff in my life. Yeah. 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 Cause it could like, cause that's the right thing to do. If you're True. in that situation, now, just go, okay, these are my problems. <laughs> I, I should work on this. I, so, I, 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 I know someone who, I, I know someone who had an unplanned kid. kid. They, they were like total dumbasses. It was this couple, um, you would never be like, expect them to be good parents or anything not Damn. ready to do that at all and then they accidentally <laughs> got pregnant and i mean later down the line years down like they're good like they really got their shit together i mean it kind of forces that. you to mature a little bit so that's it could work out that way and i'm hoping it does but it's just the way he said it because i know i i had been talking to him about these problems and i'm you know because he came into a good amount of money recently through other things like a large amount of money so he can take care of the kid financially pretty well it's just like money gives access and access gives you the problems or keeps them it doesn't like, sound like you had a gambling problem, problem it bro it's not like you had some yeah. gambling solutions dude yeah. no, no 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 gambling <laughs> is not how he made the money, money. <laughs> have you ever heard of a 12 leg parlay <laughs> <laughs> dude he's about to have two extra legs in his life and i don't know if he's ready for that shit is all i'm saying <laughs> Unless so, the kid's deformed, it could be one or three. That's oh true, yeah. God. It could be just one leg. <laughs> okay. Oh, See, oh, my, only, my only saving grace is this girl that he started dating, and I guess is going to marry now, oh my God. And is, had, is a very professional person as far as I can see, had a career, like, oh, is, good. will be good. hopefully good, a good mom too. I don't know. I've never met her. I'm about to meet her at the first time for the first time at their baby shower in like three <clears> weeks. Dude, that's so. crazy. Oh of our group God. of friends, I guess, based or, you know, extended people, who would be the worst dad or, or, or mom, I guess? <laughs> I would Holy I would be shit. a very what good a dad. What a fundamental but I have, judgment I to make it. about a oh, human. Damn. Let's fucking crucify him. I'm, uh, I'm opening up the out. base Discord right now, and I'm looking through the numbers. Worst dad. Initially, I see Cuniques and Uncle. Boom. I don't know, dude. I don't want to <laughs> yeah. see my dad. Uncle. Dude. Dude, <laughs> what, Tasty, you're going to feel like shit if, when this kid comes out messed up. No. Like one leg. No, he's not. No, he's no. not. You're going to be like, oh, no, my fucking. <laughs> You're fine. Yeah, we'll, Dude, we'll okay. be like, St. Tits, throw up the picture. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> throw up the picture. That would be awful. <laughs> First of all, I'm not yeah. giving you guys a picture if that happens yeah, at yeah, all. Yeah, because for sure. <laughs> Obviously. I would never do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, like, but if I just hope we throw it up on the podcast, actually, you know. Joby. Have you guys ever had someone you know that had just a really ugly baby? Yeah, yeah, most yeah. babies. Every yeah. single person that's had a child. Yeah. There, I mean, there's <laughs> good looking cute. babies out there where they just look cute. And the, but yeah. there's some that look yeah. like an actual monster. You know? Yeah. So, and, and they'll like, turn into normal looking human have, beings, but there's some ugly Have you babies had the moment sure. when the parents like handed you the baby or showed you the baby and you just had to react? You like, just, ha! Ah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, yeah. You had to you control yourself. That? There's like a TikTok couple with like the world's ugliest baby. Have you guys seen that? No. Where they posted that a family like, picture. Is that the <laughs> last <laughs> point of the content? Is that the baby's no, really no, ugly? It, or do they just no, not no, know? No, no. It was, 
they posted a <laughs> imagine family being picture. that baby oh, shit. <laughs> yeah and like the wife is like fine like she's pretty normal looking the husband has some sort of like problem he looks like an anglerfish he looks like a fucking blobfish <laughs> Okay. And then oh the baby. He looks well, like he over heels when you I eat almost him. <laughs> he looks like an angler fish. He looks that's, like a blobfish. Is what well, he looks like. Oh, okay. Oh my god, this is that's you better. have to show me this family. I'm I'm gonna I have to look it up. I gotta find him. God. Does the um, child the, look like the no, father? The child is the worst part. The oh, child no. lo Aww. looks like some sort of. It looks ninety years old. Hey, like, can we throw this baby up on Benjamin the screen Barton. and roast yeah, the fuck yeah, out yeah. of it? Hey, let's show the, the baby's already this famous. Ugly baby. <laughs> but who Damn. who shot? Who was the one who like shine? Were, were the parents like, "Yo, our baby's so ugly. Let's like cash no, in no, on no. this"? Or they were posting like a cute. It was a normal account, and they would like post a bunch no. of content with them and they had like 50 followers right it was like a mom's tiktok account and, and other people just this. said your kid no, no, no. is so ugly they posted this one picture that was like it almost looked like they were trying to draw attention to how ugly the whole thing oh was. so then it, the internet oh, got a hold no. of and it, ah. there's like five million likes. <laughs> like, okay, it just I'm gonna see this. I'm gonna see. I mean, this is terrible. terrible. I'm to, that I don't happened. remember the. I don't remember the name funny. of like the account, but I'm trying to find. I'm trying to Google it right now. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Ugly baby TikTok. Who knew? Yeah, I, that uh, sucks for I them. I usually honestly. think every More single baby. baby's ugly. I'm like, I don't like it. Like, I've never seen one where I'm like, oh, that's just baseline cute. Nah, dude. I'm sorry. My niece is cute as fuck. My niece is so cute. Yeah, my niece is cute that's as fuck cat. as well. And and, my niece and is so, so your my niece sister, is very cute, Hamby. dude. You, she's adorable, bro. Baby. And and yeah. and my so my sister, <coughs> two best friends. Yeah, like really, like big all eyes. three of really them cute. had their first kid within a week of each other. So they're all like, they've got this little mom's little club, baby pals. Um, mom's yeah, club. and they did, they did like a a one year birthday for all of them. And I went to my sister and I was like, dude, I don't know if I'm biased or not, but like, those other two babies are not fucking cute at all. Like, not even remotely cute. You went to your sister and said that at oh, the birthday yeah. party. Yeah, I told her. She was like, don't say that, but like, I know. <laughs> but, like, yeah, I know. Don't say that. Dude. Well, like one of them is like kind of cute, and one of them is just like, dude. Like, imagine that being your kid, bro. <laughs> oh, that's bad. But like, you, you know, have to know what it is. You have to know. You I have know to know. Unconditional. Yeah, you know, if I know. Uh, kids, if your kids I think are unconditional can. love, but like, I you gotta know at certain. Okay, points, to a certain degree, yeah. But I think, like, especially moms, like they have certain eyes for their kid. I don't think they would. Oh, for sure. See it like that. For sure, yeah. but. I bet there's some dads out there that are like, well, they'll grow into well, it. You never know what they'll grow into. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'll I'll never be know frank, dude. I'll let you guys know if my kid's ugly. I'll be, I'll probably be saying it all the time. You like, probably yeah, dude, won't an know. Ugly one. You probably will yeah. have no idea. Honestly. Annie will beat you for that. No, Annie will hit me, <laughs> but it's okay. She does anyways. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, okay. The day, the day you have a kid, T Papa, is the day the world ends. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> dude, that's fine. Like, like <laughs> the day you have to. Dude, dude, Papa's gonna have a kid, and Cox is gonna, gonna babysit it. Like that's <laughs> so much karma. Cox so much... is gonna not cheat, bro. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> that's Impossible. Crazy. That is crazy. Damn, man. Anyway, so we're finding. Are we? Are we waiting? We're waiting to see this ugly kid, or? No, sorry, I was blown. No, we can move on. Um, no, 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 I, no, we move yeah, on from yeah, ugly yeah. baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop flaming children for one for one one podcast. Damn, that's kind of messed up, dude. But yeah, so my back like the original story, my friend, I don't know. I'm gonna go to that baby shower and just act as cordial as possible, but I hope he doesn't fail as a father. That's all I'm saying. Hey, come on. That's a nice it is. that's a nice hope. It is. I hope it straightens about like we think. Surely. Not sure that it will. Surely. Yeah, surely. In his eyes, it will. That was all of I'm our crazy over. stories, or did we have well, one more? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, I just came back from Do you have any ultra stories? Miami. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That, well, the first day was a story. Like, I took, I want, for one thing to preface, I will never, ever in my life again take um, South Florida public transit ever. In my life, it's the worst. It's shit not I've ever an seen. option. That's a, that's a no, good. it's just not an option. It's, 
I mean, I got spoiled a little bit by the couple times I went to New York. That was great. They and DC has great public transit. Like, and I was like, okay, surely if they have public transit, at least it's somewhat efficient. Like, I could get there. Not at all. So first day of Ultra, it's Friday. It's supposed to rain. Great, right? It's supposed to rain. I didn't know it was supposed to. I thought it was supposed to only rain on Saturday, but I left around. It goes until midnight. So I left around five. I had to go pick up like a Camelback from Bass Pro, and then I got on the. There was there was two transfers I had to make because I my family lives in between Fort Lauderdale and Miami, so I took one train all the way south, and then a transfer train takes you then into Miami, and then there's like a small inner loop you get to Ultra for. But I wanted to do that because parking in Miami is crazy, especially during Miami Music Week. It's nuts. There's millions of people there. It seems like. So I take the train down. I get off the first train. It takes 25 minutes to get to the transfer station. So I'm like, good. I'm making good time. It's like 6.15 at the time. I waited at that transfer station for the transfer train for an hour and 45 minutes. I sat there. <laughs> an hour and 45. Did you think like something was wrong? <laughs> yes. And I was there with other people, too, that were going. And we were all like, we tried to get on. A, we were like, is this the train? And everyone's like, no, it's not the train. It was supposed to run every 30 minutes. I don't know what happened. Nobody had an answer. That train didn't come until 7.45. So actually just like an hour and a half, which is still crazy. So I get on that train. <coughs> then I'm going into Miami. And midway through, there's a freight train going across. We sit there while this 20,000 car freight train goes by for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then third a third of the way or three-fourths of the way in he just stops the train says nothing i swear i was so mad i was ready to break the window and just hop <laughs> bro i would have been walk. seething i was I get livid so mad. livid oh it gets better so I, we finally get to the transfer and then it starts done with the transfer and i get to the inner loop which just takes you kind of around near where bayfront park is and where the festival is and it starts pouring so I put on my poncho. I finally get to the Bayfront Park stop. I get off. I'm walking through the pouring rain to the entrance of the festival. It just continually starts dumping harder and harder until I'm finally through the security by which they had no metal detectors on because it was raining. They didn't check me. They didn't pat me down. All they did was check my ID. They didn't even scan my ticket to That's get in. Insane. That's insane. insane. I could have walked in with uh, two Berettas and fucking shot up the crowd. <laughs> What's up, FBI? Thanks for listening to the podcast now. I mean, <laughs> like, no, I'm just FBI. You need to be at the fucking fe these yeah. this shit. To, like, to be honest, no, the if you FBI want that, is wake they're up. Venmoing money to people who post violent things online, so they go do that, bro. That's <laughs> not dude, valid. I forgot about that, dude. I got paid last week. So, <laughs> so I get all the way in to the festival. It's 9.15. It's pouring rain. I got my poncho on. Best seven bucks I ever spent. Because I went to Bass Pro. It was fully waterproof. I didn't really get wet. But my okay. shoes in the bottom of my pants were soaked. Get into the set. I'm just wading through the crowd. No regard for anyone around me. Not even looking up. I'm just like freight training into the fucking crowd. First song, like song comes on, literally three minutes, and across the screen, attention, this is the end of today's festival. We cannot go on any further. This area is too dangerous. <laughs> I was just like God. this the whole fucking way out. I was like, I hated life. Anybody who was bumping into me, I was just like death staring. I was sh shoving people getting out of the way. I was like, get the fuck out of my way. I'm so mad right now. Three hours in public transit to get there and leave. Luckily. Uh, my fr or my friend Christian, who also is always friends Christian, um, was there and had an Uber already called because he like saw the writing on the wall or whatever MVP. And we went and partied later that night and kind of made up for it. But that was the worst festival experience I've ever had in my life. Damn, the man. shortest time spent That's in a festival. Insane. Where... Yeah, That's... I mean, weather at a festival can just make it like so fucked. Like, oh, so, especially so fucked. in my. Especially like near South Beach, because they're basically a floating island anyway. So flooding happens so easily. And it was the rest of Ultra was fine. It was great. Like the other couple of days was good, but that was the worst thing ever. And also, quick note 
you're ever in Miami for Music Week or at all, and there's a place called Factory Town, never oh, go there Oh, you saw John ever. Summit there, didn't you? Oh, yes. was it not good? John Summit was fine, but I went back to Factory Town. The, every other set and person I saw at Factory Town the whole week was awful. Ooh. The speakers were quiet. I don't know. I feel like they paid them off to play shitty music. I don't know how that would happen. <laughs> what were they playing? No. Just like super general. Bro, Crylax on some crazy shit. Dude, <laughs> that's a I saw, damn, dude. I saw Dom Dalla. I saw Malpi. Like all these people I've seen before that had insanely good sets. All of their sets were terrible. They played none no of their way. own songs. Yes, they played none of their own music. They played nothing. It was, it was, we, the whole crowd was like, what the fuck is happening? Like everyone was talking, like, why does this suck so bad? Damn, I think maybe they're Miami saving it. both have that like curse of like DJs think they know what people in Miami and Vegas like, and so they just play like the most fucking like generic shit ever, and it ends up just being horrible. You know what I mean? How like yes. Vegas sets are different, and how yeah, Miami's yeah, very yeah. much the same thing. But they didn't play even <laughs> popular music. It was music no one sure. heard of. They're trip saving their the... sets for the actual festival. This guy, these people were coming on at like 3 a.m., 4 a.m. These people were sitting there waiting for this. And they played for Damn. two and a half hour sets. They weren't like short moments either. So it was hmm. just, I will never go back there again in my life, ever. And Damn, I man. highly recommend that no one, it doesn't matter who you're seeing, it's going to be bad. Yeah, but uh, uh, wow. weather situations at festivals can really fuck everything oh, yeah. up, man. Yeah. Um, I went to this festival called elements um it was like in northeast pennsylvania it's like deep in the woods um and i can't remember what the hurricane was that came through like shortly hurricane. before oh, it okay. fucked everything up it took out like the whole vip parking area it took out like a whole um camping area uh er like so much shit got fucked up it took out one stage uh, and like the the show must go on, you know. And so so much stuff was scuffed. Uh, some people like didn't even get into the festival because lines were so long because they were just scrambling to figure out how they were gonna get in. Uh, and there was a class action lawsuit against them. Uh, really? Yeah. And my best friend against the festival was working for the company. My friend Michael, who you've met. Oh, Michael. Uh, yeah. Shout out, Michael. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he was like really going through it that weekend. Uh, and, and I kind of felt bad because, dude, there are people who just ha were having, like, the worst weekend of their, of their lives. And I had, like, the best. I, <laughs> I like, I, because, you know, I had the inside man. He was golf carting me from stage to stage. Like, I had no problems. Like, everything was fine for me. <laughs> and I just see everyone, like, miserable, like, leaving early. So does he have, like, did he have hey, a Papa, why path? when you enter what Discord does it say, hey, I'm about to bust? <laughs> I'm about to bust, Sorry, bro. It's his, it's his entrance <laughs> song. It, you can do like you can do little entrance noises in. Uh, uh, yeah, my computer bugged for a second. I don't know what's going on, so I had to rejoin Discord. And yeah, sorry. Sorry, about my bad. That. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> I'm about to bust. <clears throat> Anyways, <laughs> wait. Yeah. So does Michael have a production pad? He has like the pass that gets him everywhere. Well, the thing is, yeah, the thing is, um, this is what was so fucked up is that he was on the marketing team. So like, when it comes to the actual festival itself. He wasn't even supposed to be working. Like once the festival starts, his Free marketing job. is done. Like like his job is pretty much over. Mm -hmm. Um, but just because of how much went wrong, like he had to pretty much work the whole weekend. But then we got the golf cart, so worked out for you. Yeah, and then he left the company. Now he's with Insomniac. I mean, things worked out. But yeah, that was uh. Yeah, I got my ticket refunded. I told him I was like, because I got a, I got an email and I was like, I didn't get a ticket refunded, but there was a class action lawsuit, and so I got an email and it was like, years down the line, I was, they were like, you bought a ticket to this festival, like you're eligible to get be part of this class action lawsuit, and I was like, I, all I had to do was like fill out a quick form, and I was like, yes, and then they gave me this yeah. like direct deposit for like three hundred fifty bucks. I was like, sick. I did that nice for Facebook. Weekend I, got 12, I got 1200 bucks from Facebook. Damn, man. We should hit some more class action lawsuits. There's a lot going around. I got an it was email one with because Red Bull? it was about the privacy leak. They were just like, here, fill out this form if you had a Facebook from this time to this time. And I've had it forever. And they just sent me. Depending on how long you had it is how much money they, get, they gave I mean, you. those are real. Wow. How much did you get? 1200 bucks. Whoa. Damn, dude. Yeah. What the hell? 
It was. I got it on email. Facebook? What the heck? That's like I thought a ticket I thought to Rune Fest, scam. man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it was cool. I just. I I didn't expect to get anything from it. They were just like, here, if you put in your information, and then we'll, you know, send you the details later on, on the settlement of the suit. It was. It was great. It paid rent for the month. It was. It was great. Yeah, man. I uh. So yeah, sue sue major companies. Sue major companies. Got it. Noted. They will we'll settle. Do. So uh, I went on a date tonight. Oh yeah! Tonight, go. Yeah, how'd it yeah, go? That's why I was late. It was good. I took this girl bowling. She, hey. I, I, I put on my Instagram story yesterday. Like, I went bowling, and she DM'd me, like, "When are you gonna teach me to bowl?" I said, "Now." Yeah, because you're and really, you're pretty good at bowling, aren't Let's you? Go. Yeah, I fucking <laughs> rinsed her, dude. Like. <laughs> Like it turns out she shit at bowling. I <laughs> fucking handed it to her. Did she bowl I would never over a one hundred? Holy shit! Uh, I don't even think so, dude. Uh, dude, no, one hundred <laughs> is like you're bowling. You know, you're like you're doing a pretty good job. I hit a two hundred really? though. Oh, oh nice! Dude. You you. Bowl I would never talk to you again, Hamzy. You bowl a two hundred and you took her bowling, bro. What the? Dude, fuck? not only did I not only did I do that, bro, but. And I thought about not doing this, but I brought in my fucking bag and like my. No way! Own. You're a fucking scratch golfer, and you Dude. took her out there and but just. You like fully had her, a bro. bad date. Like you're not gonna see her again. I don't know. I thought it was fun. I gave her a ride home. <laughs> I mean, did she have? Yeah, a, did she seem like she was having it. a good time? Oh no, no, it was fun. <laughs> that's it. Uh, okay, so at the end you, of the you, day, you would hate doing something like that on a date. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't hate doing something like that. I would hate <laughs> bowling specifically. Okay. I hate bowling. Listen, okay. I'm a bad bowler, okay? So I relate with this girl. When you go bowling, okay? When you walk up, you throw the ball, you get a gutter ball. What happens when you walk back? Shame, <laughs> pain, everyone's looking at you. Everyone's laughing at you. It's like when you have those nightmares that you turn around and like everyone's staring at you and like thinking oh, you're horrible, okay, but it's okay. actually real. Well, I don't, think know? She, I don't think she felt shame from it because I tried, but she didn't. You tried to shame her? See, that's the thing. Yeah, she, like, if she bad. tried, you would have made fun of her. And she, like, she had to cover it up. I don't no, think you're going to hear was... back from her. No, no, hmm. no, I will. <laughs> Give me okay, updates. So, I want to know. Yeah, I want to hear all yeah, this yeah, place yeah. out. So, yeah, at, at, the end of the, at the end of the day, you drove her home, and did she say yeah. anything? Like, Yeah, I was like, let's time, hang out like... again this weekend or something. And she was like, yeah, okay, let me know what you're doing. Hmm. Let me know what you're doing. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I just I'm see interested. Hamzy, bro. He like does back to back strikes and he like turns around. He's like, Woo! Sit the fuck down! <laughs> sit the fuck down. <laughs> I mean, dude, I don't know. She, she's, she's, she's on the nerdier side. I think she was cool with it. Okay. Bri Bri's like you, Zoe. She would hate that. Never. She would have hated that. We, we went to Top Golf one time with like some friends or whatever. She hated it because everyone's watching you tee off and. She's never golfed before, so she was just like, "No, that was." Terrible. Do you guys? Do you guys fuck with Top Golf? I had a blast, but I'm randomly good at golf, so I, I'm not randomly I'm good at golf. Yeah, like I, I swing. A, I, that was the you first time I swung a club in like a decade, and I was killing it. Sometimes that's what does it because I used to golf a lot when I was a kid. I worked at a golf course, and I took lessons as a kid. Everything like my dad really wanted me to play golf. I didn't like it though, but. I'd never played, and then five years later, it's because you're so relaxed and you don't care or don't think about what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, I didn't care. I wasn't overthinking because, like, the worst case happens is I suck at something I've never done. Who can, you're like, oh, but I. So yeah, I was just smashing it. I was like hitting it to the back fence hmm. and having a good time. Yeah, I but understand I, why you say Bree would hate that though, because <laughs> I know when someone they do watch you tee off. Like if you're playing regular golf, everyone's sitting there waiting for you to swing and just looking at you. So if you if you just completely miss the ball or or divot oh, the ground, and if you do oh, a yeah. shank at Top Golf too, and you got a ball that just goes like across three bays, you know, like oh right my god, yeah. you, or like barely makes it to the safety net, and then yeah. just like blink, 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 and you're like, oh okay, well that's fucking. I've <laughs> I've never played golf besides going to top golf and I enjoyed myself. It was just it's really expensive. That's why I don't go that often. I mean it's a vibe. I, I've yeah. only been twice. That was 
about sorry um, Natalie, i have a story about this on the opposite of like mm-hmm. hamsey like uh it was like my third date with my current girlfriend we've been dating for four years by the way and it's my first time meeting her family and it's a top golf date and we had been talking shit and she had not let me know at the time that she had played varsity golf all the way till senior year <sighs> And like I consider myself like a, I'm a big guy, but I'm pretty athletic. You know, I, I can move my feet. I'm good with like my hand eye coordination, my timing. And I've never, ever like golfed at all. I've never swung a club. I've never hit a ball. But I was just talking shit because I was like, it's easy. You just hit a fucking ball. You just hit a fucking ball. You just hit a fucking ball. And she comes out there and she whoops everyone's ass, including my own. And her family is just roasting me the entire time. That's the pretty fun. entire That's fucking good. time the family is just roasting me so i guess it was like a test to see if i could take it if i could take the heat and i passed but dude i wanted to jump the fuck off I wanted to leap down <laughs> to the concrete that was below, and I was just sitting. Bro, that's vodka. what you should have done, dude. You should have just shanked one and then just jumped <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, look the mom to his family in the eye, like, dude. "Fuck you!" Yeah, <laughs> well, not uh, you did I, this and then kill yourself. Yeah, no, I, I, uh, I went, I went with on a date with this one girl in college. I was, I was like actively dating her actually. Um, this was in Pennsylvania, and her family's all like very. They like love their guns. And so she know I had never held a gun in my entire life. So she took me to the shooting range. And it's like a very rinky dink. Like this is like I'm pretty sure it was just some old man's backyard. It's not like hmm. a like barely legal. Place. And and I had never held a gun before. And she's all like showing me how to hold it. Like, dude, she's literally like, I'm holding it. She's literally like behind me, like holding it up with me. <laughs> this little a little emasculating. I was like, I don't know if I like this. Hmm. Well, she wanted. She just I, uh, wanted to have I, that moment with you. I took a girl uh, to, to play frisbee golf one time on a date, and she was like hyper competitive about it. It was so frisbee fucking golf. weird. Dude, there's yeah. a lot of layers to that, dude. Frisbee I, golf for the first date, and then she tries to like be hyper. Dude, she was frisbee like golf. hyper was competitive it? about it. <laughs> or was she, this the well, first she's time? like. Per, no, 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 no. She'd been, she, she was the one that suggested it. She was like, oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so I was like, yeah, that sounds really fun actually. And so we did, and she was getting like really mad. She would like do a bad throw and just be like, fucking shit, throw her frisbee down. I'm just like, what the hell is chick? It was so uncomfortable. I had a terrible time. <laughs> it was like in college. I never took her on another date, but it was really did she fucking hit you up after. Uh, no, to, like, I think she was she probably to... waiting for me to, but I was like, nah, not gonna, <laughs> she was like totally lost it at Frisbee golf. So, uh, dude, we should, uh, we should bring on our special home. guest for the day, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Who yeah. we got guys? Yeah. Today's special guest, ladies and gentlemen, is a, a good friend of the behemoth channel, AKA me, Mr. T Papa and Mr. Uh, Prison Joe. He goes by the name of Asterix. He is the full-time editor. For the Behemoth channel, he also does a lot of my YouTube videos. Um, d- shout the fuck out, Asterix, bro. Every single shout day, out. this guy has missed maybe, like, one video ever. Like, even on Christmas. <laughs> like he yeah, no, no, he, he's missed one video in 400 or something like that. Like, he had... Yeah, yeah, no, he's literally insane. He's actually cracked. He's a fucking menace. He's also six foot seven and Canadian. Pretty tall. Right. Oh, what yeah. a combo. Yeah, so these are these are the qualifications. There he is, Mr. Asterix. Oh my God! Welcome, oh, hey, Look at with him. the Suicide <laughs> Boys shirt. I love it. Hey, ah, hey. welcome in. Let's hey, go. Boys, oh. you know how it is. Look, smacking and mewing. Holy shit! Mm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. What about what about yeah, type, ten type seconds? Type one if you're mewing, mewing yeah. right now. Ten seconds of mewing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right, the Spotify, the Spotify listeners are well. going to hate that one. The Spotify yeah. listeners aren't going to like that to work on that No, one. they loved it. Oh, yeah. all of your you get like a little bit right of like there. elevator music or something to carry it through. Yeah. No, it's going to be silence. They have Poor to deal with listeners. it. Jesus. Um, yeah, well, welcome in, Asterix. We're giving you a little bit of an intro. Um, the full-time behemoth editor, uh, six foot seven, 400 pounds, solid muscle, uh, Canadian legend. Uh, how would you describe yourself to the uh, to the listeners of the Base After Dark podcast? 
<clears throat> Influential. Dominant. Yeah, that's, that's all we needed. <laughs> Borderline <laughs> did. schizophrenic. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that one, but the yeah. other two pretty dope. <laughs> Fitting, right? yeah, don't borderline judge too quickly. It could be a power. I yeah. just took Shroom so I could enjoy it. You know, I'm gonna, it's been a long time, so I'm glad you mentioned schizophrenia. Yeah. Do you actually just take mushrooms? Yeah, no, I If you like record the last, if you like wind back the last like one minute, you can watch me. I'm like popping shroom pills. <laughs> how many, how many, how much did you take? Like two <laughs> yeah. grams. I don't do anything crazy oh, anymore. Okay, okay. Why'd you do that? Yeah, why because do that? uh i i wasn't why gonna stream that? tomorrow and i wanted to i haven't done streams in a long time i wanted to do them no, again and then did you I decide usually, in this moment or did I you like, like a crazy it? person that i like it's because i always take them during the pod because on thursdays i usually don't stream wednesdays uh we do the podcast and like i want to i want them to start kicking in uh after the patreon podcast so i usually end up taking my shrooms during the podcast uh, okay. so it sounds okay. like it's like Dude, this I'm constant thing dose. that goes on i'm, I'm learning about this today that. i'm learning about this today yeah yo so, asterix what's going on have i ever been on behemoth uh probably uh Ooh. today's video i think was edit number 458 that Jesus. I did for the channel, Jesus so Christ. there's no way I remember if I'm being honest. God but like, I, you have been. I've commented your clips. Yeah, let's go. Clips. Hell yeah, on Behemoth. Yeah, yeah. multiple I gave, times. I I I like. I got asked for that one in Chronicles like years ago. I was like, yeah, I don't mind at all. That'd be great. And then uh, nobody tells me. So if they go up, you know, they go up. <laughs> Does Chronicles curious. still put out videos? I haven't seen a Chronicles video in forever. You know? What's Chronicles? I don't even know. Oh, no. Never heard of Chronicles. <laughs> no, oh, 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 damn. Oh, shit. Camp who? I don't real, know. <laughs> real and true. Uh, but okay, welcome on, Mr. Asterix. We appreciate you coming on, brother. Thank you. Um, Thank you. We do have a few questions lined wow. up for you. Uh, but first, how are you feeling? How's today been for you? Uh, you know, a 10 hour editing day. I've been whipped. Um, Behemoth recently. Um, told me if I don't step up the production quality on the videos, I'm going to be replaced by Ugandan child. Um, so I have <laughs> They're good. Their They're rates good. are lower. Yeah, I've Their seen rates the are work. Lower. I've seen All the right. rates, dude. You got some competition. Dude, Fiverr's a plague insane. on the editing community, man. I'm horrified. But AI too, like I'm actually fearful for my life, man. Um, <laughs> no, today's yeah, been how do we? How do we use that? How does that work? Uh, yeah. It doesn't exist. Yeah, it doesn't. If okay. someone were okay. to yeah. replace you for free with AI, what would that process look like? And um, <laughs> yeah. it would look soulless. It would look bland. And it would any have resources we could yeah. use? Yeah. Um, uh, no, basically just editing like a freak, lifting like a freak, um, trying to ooh, make ends meet. Ooh, you know yeah. how it is. Um, we hit the what kind of lifting? What kind of lifting? Just like I've been getting pretty into bodybuilding over the last year or so. I'm finishing okay, a cut okay. right now. I bulked from 165 pounds last March. Holy to shit. This March. 165? You're 6'6", yeah. six, six, aren't you? No, well, so here's here's the thing, right? I started 6'6", six, six, right? Well, 6'7", six, blah, blah, blah. I started 165 pounds last March, and I was turbo Damn. mega depressed. Bunch of IRL, like, lore basically happened. Cool. Catching up to now, uh, February of this year, I was 225 at my heaviest in the bulk. So Ooh, nice. We get big, and now nice, I'm slimmed down dude, a bit, yeah. around 210, and then we're gonna see how it goes. But just weightlifting, you know, going to the gym, traditional stuff. You got your, your compound lifts, you know how it is. How much you bench? <laughs> I'm working my way up to my New Year's resolution of a working set of 225. I'm currently stuck That's at 175. Goodie. I can't get there past 175. I don't know. Maybe it's the long limbs, you know, but. No, you're, I'll be honest, dude. Being tall fucking sucks for lifting. But then when you do put on muscle, way better. Yeah. yeah. Can I yeah. ask yeah. as someone who also was tall and bulking up from like, I, I think I gained like 45 pounds or something like that. What is yeah. your daily caloric intake? Uh, during the bulk, it generally fluctuated, but I tried to eat like 3.4K calories a day minimum. Uh, I was yeah. doing cardio. It's it's worth noting. I was also doing cardio probably three times a week. I do seated uh, biking or the elliptical at the gym. Um, but, oh, yeah. We love yeah. that low impact cardio. Yeah. That cardio, yes. baby. Yeah. <laughs> but that's that's yeah, it, man. It's rough. E yeah. Eating, man. You have eating to eat so, so much. It's it's crazy. It's I didn't do a clean bulk. I did a dirty bulk, too. So, I mean, pizza, yeah. ice cream, literally. Yummy. Yeah. 
It's just Fuck macros. What are you, a bodybuilder, dude? Who cares? Yeah, like literally true. anything you can to get your protein and calories for the day. Yeah, not matter. you know what's great calories actually is alcohol. Mm. Yeah, especially yeah. four loco. Yeah, it's great for the Sixty in there. You know, you know, a four loco Hamzy is seven hundred calories. Remember talking about that? Yeah, I disregard the numbers. I'm not a big numbers guy. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, you're more of a vibe, more of a feelings. Kind yeah, of guy. it's a vibe. Ride the lightning. I get it. I get it. Oh my god. No, it's actually crazy. I, I, have, I have a question for Asterix. Since Asterix yep. has to look at Daisy's face every single day, what yep. is your least favorite thing that Daisy does during. Uh, <laughs> like, what? Like, this Don't is say moment. dissociate, this, dude. This Don't is it. Say like, dissociate. You see raw footage of him every day. Like, what are the things? Like, I need dude. to know. <laughs> you probably know more about me than I know about myself. <laughs> That's the thing, dude. That's the thing. I have this. <laughs> freaky parasocial relationship with behemoth and tasty and none of them know it at one point i, I like okay so I, I noticed one time i noticed you said in the recording like oh i'm gonna get food or something and i saw you had like a starbucks cup and like you were just slurping on that thing the whole time and part of me thought it was rational and normal to dm you like hey how was the starbucks how was the frappuccino or whatever and i realized like that's like, i you wish know, you did dude like, no, i dude. wish you did bro oh. Like, uh, I think that is rational. That normal. No, you, that's you drink rational, like a fucking yeah. animal. Like <laughs> you can probably tell when you're have... like having an off day. Like, hey man, you okay? You seem a little. Uh... Dude, yeah, you've seen me like at the top of my game. Yeah. You've seen me probably wasted. You've seen me yeah. like hung over after a bender. Like yeah. you've seen me wake up after three hours of sleep because I forgot to record Behemoth and fucking like send it to you. <laughs> like you've seen me in all states, dude. It's the duality of state. man right there. Yeah. Uh, no, but I've got the, a lot of personalities. The most annoying thing to answer your question, Deep Papa, is probably it's either sometimes. Okay, no offense. Bear in mind. No, like, no, no, like, dude. Please him, tell no, me. Get him, I don't get him. For, get him, for, for get him, your bro. sake, for your sake, I will do my best to fix it. Like, please okay. tell me, dude. Please. Uh, every every now and then, we're saying about thirty three percent of the time. When you're recording Behemoth, sometimes if you get a message on your phone or something comes up, you will literally just zone the fuck out and scroll on I your do, phone for associate. three minutes with while the cameras <laughs> rolling. And I have no to way. find where the no waveform way. starts. And here's the funny thing. It's not you talking. It's you like hacking up something because you're vaping. So it won't even be you talking. <laughs> I'll scrub the timeline for You're just three scrubbing minutes. to the waveform. And, yeah. like, <laughs> and he's just going... <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh, I man. love that. Uh, I do that what, when what I edit my own videos, dude. What does that <laughs> process look like? Like, get, like, give us the inside of like the process of what goes into a Behe video. Oh, um, I'm going through my day. I check to see if the voiceover has been dropped in the Discord. I, honest to God, I don't even pay attention to the doc until the voiceover is done. Like, I don't look at it I, unless it's a major video. I don't, I don't really give a shit. I just check to see is the voiceover there. If the voiceover is there, I download it. I have a. Ah! What? Oh God, gang tire off, Jesus. <laughs> um, basically, I, I I'm going through. I download all the clips from voiceover. I take any screenshots for Reddit news, stuff like that. Plop Tasty's POV into the thing. I set up. I have a pre-made project file for a streamlined workflow where I basically have a hard limiter on the audio tracks already, so none of the vocals are going to clip and peak. I have like a preset pack that I've made like by myself for all the common transitions the effects, this and that. And then I basically just mass import using a, this like GitHub script. It grabs all the Twitch links and downloads all of them for me. So I don't have to go clip by clip downloading every single one of them bitches. Uh, I'm not going to talk about ki smart. kick clipping. I, I love kick. Kick. Is <laughs> kick clipping is dog shit. Fuck it. It's pretty bad. So Fucking bad. dog shit. Yeah, we tell them. So it's not yeah. a big deal. Yeah. Okay. So it's safe to say that. They're Great. working on it. Yeah. I hope. Yeah. But basically... I just start, I grab you know, your POV and I just, I just cut your audio first, basically. And then once I find where you're going to, all right, like play the clip here or whatever, I slot it in and I just kind of go about it. Um, with the behemoth main channel stuff, like there's not too much mental fortitude or capacity that goes into it. It's kind of formulaic at the end of the day after hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of daily uploads. Like there's just a 450. Four, yeah, 450 by this point. I just get into a flow state where I don't even think about it anymore. Um, but that's generally it. Download everything. Put Tasty's mug up there. Have him waffle on about the clips and the news. Zoom in on important stuff and then export and we're good. Um, 
read the comments and then hate the viewers, the usual, you know? <laughs> exactly, bro. <laughs> I read the comments really and hate guys. the viewers. I do that shit so, every but, day. <laughs> I haven't yeah. read Behemoth comments in, like, months. <laughs> I didn't even click on the Dude, I had to go and put the YouTube Studio app in a folder because I would just, like, <laughs> open the comments and just, like, That's just real. look at them and just get, like, cancer in my eyes every day. I had to stop, bro. I couldn't yeah. do it anymore. I'll, dude, I'll click on the video and read, like, the top comments. Usually those aren't, like, horrific. But when you get down into like the sticks of it, how many times do you think we get the comment, where is Behemoth on every dude. single video? At <laughs> least happened? five. At you least know, five. You know it the new epidemic that's been happening this week is people keep commenting that the streamers have AHK because when they go and click on their grave, all their shit's auto-equipping. That's just that like yet. that new setting update, and so there was yeah, like at least five people have commented like, "How did they get the AHK to equip their things?" And I'm just like, I don't even I, think I, that's I, new. I think everyone just caught on to it because everyone's dying in. Coffee. I only learned about it recently, but yeah, that's, I didn't even nice. know that was a thing. Yeah, that's pretty nice. That uh, sounds yeah. really nice. That should have been always. Yeah, that should have been a thing. Yeah, for sure. But, you but, know, but yeah. every single day, people still ask where B he is. Like. It, it, it's insane to me. Like I don't even. I'm not even mad about it though because that's a free comment. Oh no, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a free actually, comment actually, on the video. On, dude. on that <laughs> subject, I the I made a short because of this about, but I get probably twenty comments a video asking how, why my character is skipping. <laughs> and you and got I a made, plug that makes it it's skip. It's the plug that makes it skip. <laughs> yeah, and I yeah, and yeah. I made a short about it and it got 130,000 views and still every single video that nobody who wanted to know or needed that information actually watched the short. Everybody yeah. else did. So it's still every single video half of my comments are like, "Hey, that's I that's the thing, dude. Like you can't really make an announcement to like a YouTube, like even to your own channel with like dedicated right. viewers. You can't just announce something and then expect everyone to know it from that period on. No one's going to know. Yeah. No. Like the, the like you saying it like once in a video, like is not going to do anything. That it's was like, an annoying like no hill to swallow. Like to learn that was like, oh God, we just, we're just going to put up with this forever. This is a it's forever like, thing. It's oh, like yeah. worse when you're streaming though. The streaming version of that is worse. People just showing up and then asking the same question where you're like, I, n Buddy, I'm not going to answer that again. <laughs> Yeah, that's your job as a right, streamer dude right but like the 400th time you answer the same question you're like i pity the first viewer who asked that who's still there like because then they've watched you answer the same question 20 times oh, yeah. it's like well dude yeah. anyone who has regular viewers they've heard you answer the same oh, yeah. questions the oh yeah yeah for, yeah for half of them it's probably a bit at some point where they're yeah like, you yeah. have to make it a bit yeah you turn to figure so out the like 100 yeah. percent way you're gonna and say you it. always commit to the bit always, always commit to the bit never oh, yeah. acknowledge asterix bit you've you've streamed a couple times haven't you um like the yeah you ever streamed or the, am i thinking of scald uh the scald like he runs streams like semi-frequently and I, I like tuning into there because yeah, i like seeing stream. his the crazy photoshop wizardry that guy's a maniac when it comes to thumbnails but oh, I he's streaming yeah, his Skulls. workflow and him making yeah. thumbnails yeah, yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, Skull is a monster, dude. Absolute beast. I was contemplating doing streams again. I've been behind the scenes working on a rebranding for my social media and stuff to get back into content creation for myself because I kind of figured, wait a minute, I'm editing all these videos and people will pay me money because they like the way that I edit these videos. What if I just took my own time, made my own video, like, like, anyway. Yeah, dude, and if, like you're I mean, you're the missing piece a lot of people are looking for. So yeah. if you just like you become the piece. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, people would watch and they'd be interested in what you have to show and what you have to say. And this is kind of like a recent thing. That was actually something I was going to like. It's not really like a question, just kind of an overall topic I wanted to go over with you is for a long time. You were kind of just man behind the scenes. I want to say it was when these guys took over. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, there might have been some flips <laughs> in the cracks between communication between the team when there's a no, large I really team. think it, it was happens. just like, it, it, it was it, just like, it, yeah, it we, we weren't, we weren't as streamlined it, as Behemoth. So Asterix had yeah, to so, help us a little so bit like, more. It prompted, it prompted Asterix, it prompted you to like be forced to kind of chime in the videos yeah. at certain points where you never had to do in the past. And then like over time, I feel like that like gave you like a personality like people finally realize like the guy behind the scenes yeah. like they know your yeah. name they know what you look like they know who you are now 
Those people like, love you, asterisks. That, I mean, they love, love you. No, they like, love like, it too. Like, it's a character that like love. Yeah, you've become like a uh, like a beloved it's, character. So it's, like, the how does that feel? it's the throw to guy. It's the throw to guy. Yeah, it's it's oh, our Saint ser- Tits. It's Jamie. It's yeah. the editor guy. It's, it's a asterisks. great role. I I love that role. Yeah. Whenever that, yeah. like a Dude, content like, creator has that, that the, guy the makes it so much better. The tier list of like most hated behemoth is the most hated for sure. Then like Prison Doe does pretty well. We and PJ are pretty even. Asterix is way above us. He's <laughs> oh, way yeah, at the top. For sure, for He's sure. way at the top, dude. Oh my yeah, God. They, no one ever dislikes that guy. They're, they're, they're like, the, whoever's playing that role, it's like just love. Yeah. It's a great place yeah. to be. Yeah, it's no, 100%. Yeah. It helps they a lot, They love the too. cats, too. The cats are like oh, that. Yeah. That's, my two that, little kids. Oh, yeah. 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 No, it was, it was honestly most like fortuitous, to be honest, because it was I was really nervous about the merger when Behemoth was uh, handing the, the business and pushing the channel onto you guys when he was stepping down a bit because he was really burning out. He has his own RL stuff going on. And I was nervous that I wasn't going to be a good enough fit. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to adapt your guys' styles because I was still pretty amateur at the time, right? But uh, luckily enough, like one thing led to another. Now I have like, there's, if you look on the channel and go through, there are editor episodes where I just, no one could fill in. We couldn't get anyone. S- yeah. Like scheduling. They're line. really good, I just honestly. Yeah, people love really good. I love them. They're yeah. really good. And so I'm lucky. I'm happy people didn't hate me. I, I would, I was so nervous. Let me tell you, like the first time I put my face on this channel, <laughs> I was so petrified. I, I checked the comments. Yeah. I was like, oh God, oh shit. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. 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 Oh but, yeah. Welcome yeah, to content creation. Cool. Well, you had never really been worse. like. A <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Everyone the loves start you is in the always beginning. hot. Dude. Starts <laughs> yeah. hot. Yeah, I see yeah. your face every day for several months. <laughs> yeah. then, they, then they get comfortable yeah. saying mean things. Yeah. <laughs> they can tell. They can tell. This guy fucking you know, sucks. When, actually, yeah. they can tell when you wore the same shirt two times in a row. They can. They'll tell you when you need a haircut. They'll tell you when you're fucking gaining weight. Like. Yeah. The, oh, the yeah. first time I was ever in an ad of mine, three different people named the three things I dislike most about myself. I was like, that's <laughs> fucking good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, dude, they're they're they bloodhounds for it, dude. I was like, they're holy bloodhounds. shit, really? God, I gotta yeah, get, I, know. I gotta get well, that, that dude, fast. <laughs> that, that's exactly why, like, people who like burn bright on the content creation scene. Either they're gone in like three months because it's just fucking it's too much, or they're there forever. Like you could either deal with it or you can't. I like, guess that's, that's just what <laughs> yeah, happens. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I remember reading that and being like, I have to be okay with this immediately. <laughs> like where? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta, like you gotta a find warm peace, up. dude. Oh, they like effective me. now. I'm very cool and chill and yeah. fine with all of this. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't effective yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, there's zero <laughs> ramp up period. So you know, yeah. Well, it makes you face your insecurities, I guess, a little For bit. For sure, yeah. Yeah, sure. no, I mean, it's it's like kind of healthy in a weird way. It's not healthy, but it helps you to be healthy. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It prompts you to be healthy, but it's definitely yeah, it not prompts you, prompts you to deal yeah. with shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. I oh, yeah. So. Um, the, the clapbacks that I've gotten from two years of streaming are very strong. In that sense. Oh, yeah. I had someone yeah. telling me how to drum and like on my latest drum video. I mean, it's oh, everything. Oh, I was like, man, I'm like good at one thing in life, please. That was a good video, by the way. <laughs> yeah, so thank that was you. Sick. Yeah, it was. Uh, I had a. I, it's been like, I didn't realize it had been eight, nine months or something since I think I'd posted one of them. It had been too way too long. So I had a, the, the the second that in the content creator Discord they threw up the tracks. I'm like, in case any of you guys want it for videos, like. It's time. I want it. It's time. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's definitely <laughs> an interesting <clears throat> position to be in, to be like observed, be a public figure. What I will say though, I thank God every day. Okay, I get mean comments. We all get mean comments. I thank God every day. I am not Biba Doobie's boyfriend. Who? What? Biba Doobie? <laughs> That's so you know real. Who Biba Doobie is? You're no, so Zoe gay, knows, what I'm, ta- Zoe You're so knows gay. what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I know, dude. I'm metrosexual. I don't know. The I don't, I don't cool. know who that Biba is. Doobie is like this if you know, you know. beautiful like artist and her boyfriend is this really dumpy like white dude and they posted a picture together and then for like oh no. basically ever since then every time Biba Doobie posts something all the comments are just like flaming her boyfriend <laughs> that's oh, like God. all it is dude why this guy because is not a public a figure yeah well it's, yeah I mean, it comes from yeah. like jealousy probably that happens but. Happens. Yeah, they're the that's most happened to more than I've just people like online. whoever they are. That happens to happens to everybody. Yeah, yeah. 
That happens to Pete Davidson a lot. Yeah. Except yeah, people think did. he's hot. I don't. I, it does. You I, know? I, I, do, they I hate, see it. They I hate see, him. I see it. I see his Just appeal. as a general, like some people that someone that more than. I don't know who that is. She's an artist in. I what don't know, way? but what type I don't of know. Artist? When I see when I see Peter a dude Doobie? who's clearly yeah. got a girlfriend way better oh, looking singer. than him, I'm like, I'm like, damn, good for you, dude. You must yeah. be funny I as fuck. <laughs> I don't think it's that weird, dude. I, I think in like attractiveness differentials, I think it's more normal to have like kind of an ugly boy and like a really hot girl. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they which do is say, it's good thing uh, because like most girls are better looking than most guys. So if it wasn't that, that way, it'd be also bad. Also, kind of true. That's it'd also be bad news true. for a lot of dudes if it had to be, the, you know, even. You got <laughs> yeah. to chew on that one for a little bit, but you're cooking. Nine, right? You're kind of cooking with that. <laughs> there was mm -hmm. uh, there was a fucking awesome Curb Your Enthusiasm episode where he was talking about how he likes to do business with guys that have ugly wives because it <laughs> it means they have more of like a, I guess moral. Oh compass and that. they see what's like inside <laughs> and then at the very end he's like <laughs> finalizing this deal <laughs> with this guy and his hot ass wife walks in <laughs> he just sees her and he's like oh i don't know if i could do this with you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it deals off man that's pretty funny, that's funny. Uh, yeah, i don't know i feel like usually job. the girl's got to be a little bit better looking than the guy you know that's what i think i just feel like it's more normal because there's way more girls that take care of themselves yeah, they, I yeah, think that's, that's, come that's why that, I said yeah. Nine Rain yeah. was right, dude. Girls are just hotter because they care more. <laughs> like, they yeah. try harder, you know? I notice a lot of guys, yeah. like, they, they get real goblin real quick when they're left unchecked, but it's, <laughs> yes. like, pretty rare. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dude. Yes, oh, yeah. that's the realest yeah. thing I've heard on podcast alone, today. Don't leave me alone for a week. It's bad. I got it doesn't four chick yeah. bags <laughs> in my bedroom. <laughs> oh, yeah. It gets Four chick filet bags? Yeah, dude. Dude, my single uh, arc was horrifying. Before I started working out, like, you guys know um, uh, Oblivion? Like, do you know when you start down in the sewers and there's, like, those rats and the goblins and shit? Like, it's I not just looked the Oblivion like... I thought you were talking about. Oh, <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, Elder Scrolls, Elder Scrolls. Like, I fit yeah, in yeah, as, like, a cast member there. Like, you could put the torch up and it'd be like, oh, my God, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, dude, I remember uh, like... playing that game for the first time when you could interact with the objects in-game and, like, there's the skull on a chain in the first jail cell, and you could like grab it and swing it. Oh, I just yeah. remember being like, "Holy!" Yeah. Like physics, shit. like in the yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. it was one of the Object first times physics. there was like really That's... interactive physics in a game. Dude, I lost my shit. That, all I wanted to do is go around and pick stuff up and like drop it. Yeah, core memories good of that fucking game, dude. Good mm -hmm. game, good, good fucking game. game. So, I, okay, Asterix, how how long have you been a full time editor? Mm. I'd say like maybe a year and a half. Um, my <clears throat> life was in shambles before Father Behe, by, by the gracious will of the gods, picked me up under his wing. Previ prior to that, I was working in a warehouse overnight hauling packages and boxes and shit. And before that, I worked in fast food where, where, where men are built, you know? <laughs> you know, we're real and true, dude. Where patience is tested. Yeah. Character development. Patience is tested. Yeah. No, I yeah. went to school so for, wait, yeah, for video editing and like visual effects and stuff. Like I went to multiple colleges for, for stuff like yeah. that. But the industry was uh, part of my French <clears throat> absolute fucking dog shit. And um, everyone was like, you need two years of experience in a visual effects studio if you want to do CGI with us. And I go, okay, so is anyone hiring a junior position? So I look at the junior positions. Oh, for a junior position, you need a one year of experience. Okay, dude. Like, like, dude, it's not happening. Can't do like, shit. Yeah, no, it's it, no. Can't you just... You just lie. I mean, you could lie. I mean, you how could, did you, you could lie, but how did you meet Behemoth? Like, how did you get connected with him in the first place? It was crazy, actually. There's like uh, an OSRS like artist Discord where a bunch of people have like a commission sport and stuff. And I noticed one day <laughs> Behemoth was like, "I'm looking for an editor to pick up one or two videos a week or something like that." I was taking a shit. I'll never forget it. And I just like randomly shot him a message <laughs> with like next to you know what my my editing portfolio was dead ass. It was called montages. That was actually oh, my, yeah. that my whole background was self teaching. Ironically, wait, so you really were just for like that that's tracks, why you did the cod like montage one time yeah, style yeah. edit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like I was my, gonna say because that the Zuck clip, I remember that. Yeah, that there's part. a lot of nuance to cod montage editing. Like, there's a lot of pacing of the zooms and the cuts, and like it's gotta be tight. It's good, there's dude. always it's good. music. You're always syncing it with the shots and the movement. So yep. like, 
That's a good base. That's yeah. a good base. I'll stick for... to it for the rest of my life. I learned more as a as a high school <laughs> boy, self teaching myself like Indian YouTube videos and stuff on how to mm -hmm. like record oh, yeah. with fraps, how to like uh, learning Dude, about fraps. frame rates and stuff like fraps, that, how to edit yeah. these montages more than I ever learned in high school, in college, in any post secondary like institution whatsoever. Self teaching myself how to edit montages is crack because you learn. Uh, compositing how to do color grading for your clips and stuff you learn about um like video formats like codex mp4 files avi files you learn about how to export you learn about how to sync you learn about how to manage your audio waveforms the list goes on ad nauseum right? yeah and there's something to be said when you have like a cool goal in mind versus a something you have to do for school yeah because then it's you're oh, just yeah. self-motivated and you're like i'm just going to solve the problem with whatever way works and you'll, yeah. I mean, it might not be the best way the first time, but you're going to learn a whole lot along the way. So, yeah. well, that's the that's thing I was uh, segue into the school thing is school sucks because it's not targeted to what your goals are. It's just generalized shit. They're going to teach you shit that yeah. may have nothing to do with what you actually want to do. I learned that when I tried to learn code, I did was a computer science engineer for like two years. Mm. And I was like, I actually got and did a coding course on the side for Java. And I was like, dude. I know how to do way more from doing this than the crappy code. You were trying to teach me how to say hello world. Like, <laughs> fuck that shit. I don't care about hello world. I can learn that on the side. Like, yeah. I don't need a whole course for that. You know what I mean? So that definitely makes sense to, mm -hmm. to take it in your own hands. Yeah. I mean, the intrinsic motivation definitely is a lot more valuable. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. It's those goblin you... nights where you're like up to like 4 a.m. or something. You know you have to get up, but you're just motivated. Like, you just want to make some cool shit. And you're like, this would be so sick. I could flex on the homies. Like, imagine saying, I made this. You know what I mean? Like, I learned how to do this and I made something. And that was kind of what drove me to pick up editing. And one thing led to another. And through a, a lucky con contact with Behemoth, more videos. I eventually started doing his dailies. I quit the warehouse job entirely because he was paying me more net o over the course of the week for the dailies than it was to work at the warehouse. And then I picked up other clients. And by that point, I said, fuck it. I'm full time. I told my like my family, my parents, I'm like, yeah, these YouTube clients, like they're paying me enough for my rent if you add it all up and I can pay for my food and my car insurance. So like, I'm, I guess I'm just an editor now. There wasn't really a defined moment in time where I just said, you know, okay, like I'm going to go full time. It just kind of slowly piled up and I started dropping my real life job and obligations off as I made more and more money and got more and more, um, you know, infamous, not really, but you know what I mean? You just needed mm -hmm. a break, the big break, kind of. Yeah. Someone to give you a chance. Yeah, exactly. To, to run, basically, yeah. So you Shout out do, B for that, dude. Shout out so B. So you do the editing all day. You've got RuneScape clips in your face all yep. day. I'm wondering, like, in your free time, like, how much do you actually play the game and also spend time, like, what, like, do you watch streams in your free time, aside from when you're editing, or...? Mm, great question i like watching you guys mainly like i check into the based crew i check into the people that i'm kind of almost affiliated with because i i'm more interested and invested in and stuff because if they're doing something notable i feel like i i want to be privy to that knowledge like theoretically let's just say tasty has a big stream planned or something like that and i tune in and stuff to see how the stream's going because it might be relevant and pertain to me in the future if videos may arise and stuff like that and of course, there's the big streamers that everyone kind of checks in on, like, you know, Bodhi, you know, Wooks when he streams once every nine years, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but outside of that, I don't really play the game too much. I like PvP. I've always been a PKer. There's something toxic and, and, and kind of evil that gets awoken in me when I realize I can take something from you. And yeah, that's the best. Back. It's yes. like, it's yeah, the, that's the, yeah. taking a shortcut and just getting other people's shit. It's the yeah. best. Yeah. It's peak. It's why I like, I don't even want to be good. Them. I just want their stuff exactly it's, it's why i play some games like escape mm. from tarkov and stuff like i mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. i like games like yo that. you play tarkov <laughs> yo no. asterisk's in the stack no, asterisk's no, in the dude. tarkov no. stack oh, no. there's nothing better than taking people's shit on tarkov bro. wait you guys play some tarky tark dude we've we been playing dude with this wife oh, i did yeah. yeah okay all right hit me up in like three months i'm Dude, Can't I will. Right I, okay, next, <laughs> next, next wipe. I'll, I'll shoot you a message. It's gonna happen in May. Right. I will remember. Right. <clears throat> yeah, but uh, more anyway. or less, basically, it's. I don't have too much time to play. I don't play too often. I do a little bit of PvP, a little bit of raids, nothing too crazy. Um, watch mainly you guys, the homies, stuff like that, and the mainstream, as you could say, streamers and content creators. Not many other people. And then uh, that's kind of it. I don't play too much. Um, and most of my time is working out 
editing, taking care of the cats and like other obligations and you just day to day shit like that. Um, because editing does take a while. Like I would say on average, I probably edit for five hours every day and I do edit every day, like with the Behe channel and stuff like the days off don't really exist in my schedule. I've been doing daily stuff without a, a day off for like probably seven or eight months now. So like I'm cooking. It's fucking hard. That's hard. Oh, yeah. it's, what so are you hard. Editing like, besides... it's one of the hardest things. I, I, it's so hard. Like, wow. Yeah. What are you editing like besides Behe? Or is uh, Behe taking four or five hours? Like how much is oh, Behe no, no, going to no. take for you? Uh, uh, Behe, okay. <laughs> well, wouldn't you like to know? So, <laughs> so when I started, I was editing, get this, no shit. I was editing Behemoth videos entirely in Adobe After Effects. Because that's what I was most comfortable with for COD. What? For COD Dude, after what is wrong no, that with makes sense. you? That makes yeah. sense. I was so comfortable with using it for visual effects and for school and with stuff like that. Yeah. I didn't want to reteach myself Premiere. So like a knuckle dragging Neanderthal for my first like month or so, I was spending five hours on a behemoth video in After Effects. And it was horrible. Like I could do fancy stuff, but it was not worth the time investment. And so I pretty quickly picked up Premiere and got back into it. And now I'm down to about... My roommate actually, uh, one time I had him time me and I went for a PR, like a speed run behemoth upload. <laughs> and I got it down to about an hour and 40 minutes, including the render time nice. for a full video. Oh, oh shit. PR. That's pretty good. Dude. That's, That's pretty really good. good. That's pretty good. Yeah, but the average one's like probably I spend a couple of hours in the morning, maybe two and a half hours. And then I go hit the gym. That's like my usual morning. But like you said, you built out the project, you built out, you know, your, yeah. you have your streamline. Yeah, you've got this. The time went also. down over time. It was five hours, then four, then three, then two, then and now on good days, <laughs> one and a half, right? Uh, it had to do with just realizing, like, I don't get paid hourly. Um, so due to that, I need to optimize if I'm getting paid per video. How, how quickly can I get these videos out while making them look nice, appealing, engaging to the viewers and to do credit to the content creators when we feature them? I don't want to, like, I feel bad sometimes because if there's a clip I don't feel is, like, very good to make it in the video, I kind of feel like I almost owe them a bit of respect. If we're going to put them in the video and we're featuring them and I'm linking their socials in the description and stuff like that. I don't just want to be like, okay, here's two seconds of you. No one cares. Like get off the screen time for like Bodhi, right. And stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But it happens every now and then, but it's never intentional. And it's just, you know, uh, I don't know the, the videos, ah, dude, I'm going insane. I'm going insane. I'm going insane. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, but at the end of the day, you're like, you never want to force content. It's not yeah. like that's going to serve anybody. So yeah 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 i could exactly. say well yeah for all the viewers you now know that asterix if you didn't know before has a heart and he does care so, so. i do so like there what you know. happens if you like take a trip somewhere or like oh uh, well he dies no that's um, our problem yeah, yeah. <laughs> jesus <laughs> christ hamzy don't say shit like start that, picking dude. up premiere Shut buddy up, man. start picking it up <laughs> start picking it that's up that's not a thing <laughs> I, have, I have very basic premiere skills um so yeah. i could make a really shitty behemoth video be kind of I mean, that'd be that kind be, of funny, yeah. like, like, like for like a one-off, yeah. like if you just did like a <laughs> super be, scuff. It'd be a good like, bit, and I would, I would try to make it like purposely shitty. So well, people I, would, like, I, God, I know when you guys funny. started posting, um, like <laughs> screenshots <laughs> that like <laughs> read, like, like just like, like the like, viewers will send you guys that. of like their <laughs> like RuneScape achievements and stuff, and someone sent the like most scuff. It wasn't even a screenshot. It was a picture of their monitor. <laughs> And it was yeah. like, all dude, people loved that man. Like that yeah, had that like a insane, that, that had like a charm to it. <laughs> He's oh. like, no. Dude, the <laughs> kind of I love tossing in those yeah. clips stuff that are people stuff. like at the club <laughs> getting ninety nine mining. Like, I don't oh know. Oh my god. <laughs> no, There's one clip kind of recently that stuck with me. Do you remember the guy who it he it wasn't a clip. He was like actually gonna loot a CG chest. And oh, he decided yeah. to what record it on his that, phone. Dude? Yeah. He was like, this might be it. Gonna record it on my phone. And he yeah. got an enhanced seed. That, like, that was the wildest. Did he just record That's every content. chest? Dude, I in think the case about that I'm happened? so happy you remember that clip because I think about that clip all the time too. I'm like, dude, was he fucking with us? Did he have it already recorded? And then he re recorded his reaction, but it seems so real. Like, he's just, it's just a one message from a guy. I mean, on Twitter. I think like, it I don't doesn't think really matter it. if it's real or not. It was good in the video, it had it a charm so to it. Like, dude, it reminds me of the fucking good day cows infernal cape do you guys oh remember my that? god how can i yes ever dude so, okay. i was yeah. watching yeah. him go live dude oh my god i i messaged tasty i mean actually i mess i i messaged you guys all, i i posted it in our discord i was like are you guys watching this and i tagged tasty because i was like he's like really dropping your name a lot like all over the place saying that you're gonna come because I, I didn't know what happened <laughs> okay. so i was like i just want to know if you like 
are going to defend this guy because he's like promising everyone that you're going to come defend this guy. Basically, what happened is he 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 got his infernal cape, and then his chat was telling him he he had it recorded. He did it. It was him. He did it. And then his chat was telling him to record it or or uh, play the video of it and react to it on stream as if he was doing it, and so he could get a clip and send it to Behe. It's not the most like. It's not the like you know. There's nothing like not the worst like, idea. To, it's not the worst. Uh, like, the you know, he's idea. not killing anyone. But it's in the clip, the you know, idea. you 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 know, the guy is the mouse is moving around. There's things happening. He's you see the play not at the control. Very end, by the way, yeah. You see the he's, oh my god. Okay. For like Everyone's, for greater yeah. context, that wa it was a legit cape. I was in Discord with him when he got it, and I like did his Zuck timers and everything. Like it was legit. But he yeah he recorded it and then played the recording and tried to pass it off as live to get it on <clears throat> Behemoth. The comments fucking flamed the shit out of him. <laughs> They're like, "There's no way." Well, this he's guy just did never recovered. You guys are no missing recovery. the best part. He literally takes his hands <laughs> off of the keyboard and goes yeah, like this yeah, yeah. while yeah, the yeah, mouse is moving. Yeah. That's the best yeah, part. That was, that was so the good, best part. Dude. I forgot. Uh, about that. Oh and God. and and the thing is, like. Me as a neutral, like as someone who had no idea. So he went live. He didn't even stream that often too, but the comments went crazy on him. And and you know they don't. The commenters don't care. Like they have something nah, to run yeah. with. They're gonna fucking run with it. They're gonna roast you to the end of your days. And so he went live to like address the allegations. <laughs> and I mean his his view count was not that high normally, and hit shot up like the second he went live. <laughs> Everyone was oh, yeah. in there. All yeah, the first rough. time chatters just roasting him. Rough. And I heard him telling his his story. his story and I was like, dude, this is seems very legit to me. Like hundred yeah. percent I believe him. But everyone else I'm assuming thought the same I thing. Wouldn't but believe him if they I don't care. Know. I'm they not gonna care. believe him. This was for a second. This was so long ago I was streaming back then. It was a while came, ago. Damn. This was he, this was so long ago I was streaming. He came into my stream. And he was talking about that. I was not going to lie. I flamed the shit out of him, too. In my stream, I was like, dude, no way. You bought your cape. Stop. Fun. Like, I, I commented on the hands thing. I remember when Zoe just mentioned that, it reminded me that I had told I was like, dude, you lifted your hands up. And he was, he was so, he told me, he was so mad at me that I did that. He's like, I'm never coming back to your stream again. <laughs> well, uh, Odeblock Oda uh, has a dude, YouTube short Gals, with like dude. a million views where he's reacting to like a, a streamer getting caught uh, buying an infernal cape, you know, like, and he doesn't address that it's actually a real cape. And uh, yeah, it well, had like yeah, a million because views. The, sto so. the story is no, so much more funnier if it's he got caught on stream. Like, it, that, like how much more hilarious is that than like what actually yeah. happened? It's yeah. hilarious. Hmm. Oh, yeah. second, um, though, I did guys, not believe since, it was. Since, oh, funny. Since Wait, I have a question for here? Asterix. Yeah, Sorry. Yo, we got... We're a minute 40, and are we supposed to go to Patreon or something like that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. An yeah. An hour 40, yeah. <laughs> Let's or, do yeah, Zoe's now, question. So do then, the question. Yeah. And then, and then yeah, we'll go okay. to... Then we'll, <laughs> okay. go to well, then we'll go to Patreon. I was not paying attention. I looked at her, I was like, holy shit. So when you make content, what what are you going to do? Like, what's the content? That's the golden question, isn't it? Like, um, <laughs> I, I used to stream, like, eons ago in a in a time many moons past. I used to do, like, 2017, 2018 <laughs> Twitch streams for, like, COD. Um, like, like I said, like, Classic. COD montage two-hour challenges where basically there's a whole, like, sub-editing Twitch metagame for the editors on Twitch where basically it's called, like, a 2HC or a 3HC. And what you would do is you'd have a two-hour challenge for $30 PayPal prize. And you drop exclusive pre-recorded montage clips. It can be any game. It can be like whatever it is, right? But you drop them at a certain time and a timer is up. And you edit, make like a little montage with it while you're live. And then when the timer is up, everyone else, all the viewers who also downloaded your clips, they show you what they made in the two hours as well. And then you review the editing and you critique it and you have like a notepad and you give them a score out of 10. It gets real competitive, real nasty, real clicky. And then whoever's the top three people are, you pay out on PayPal or whatever it is. And I used to do That's these cool. like little paid editing contests. But honestly, like no shot that works. No shot that works in 2024. There's no way. So probably- I used to watch those. Really? Except it was for um, music. Oh, they shit. would do like who can make their own original song because I used to want to produce music and they'd be on Ableton or Fruit Loops or whatever yeah. and they would make a song in 30 minutes 
And then similar, they pay out whoever yeah. has the most popular song. I, so. I don't know. Like, I love creative streaming challenges like that. Like, the whole thing. I think it's really interesting. And the fact that every stream is going to be different and yield different results and different people are going to come by. I think it's good for viewer interaction. Because people, mm -hmm. like, no way are they going to tune off your stream if they've been working for, like, an hour and a half making something to, like, get it re reviewed by you, basically, right? And sure. they don't even have to pay money. Yeah. And, and secondly, never a dull stream. Because instead of, hey, guys, today we're going to try to get a purple. We didn't get a purple. My <laughs> wife's going to divorce me. Instead of that, right? My <laughs> literal T Pop is right day. there, dude. dude. T Pop is right oh there. Oh my God. I thought of T Papa immediately. Oh, yeah. like, <laughs> oh my God. That was an epic saga. Try to, the, the Inferno Cape lore goes deep. But, anyways, um, yeah, if it wasn't creative stuff like that, it'd either be behind the scenes behemoth video editing, uh, editing client work, or some other way to kind of monopolize myself. I feel like I'm. I can be a decent entertainer as proven by the times I hosted the behemoth videos, but at the same time, like I'm still kind of in a lull of I've, I've yet to figure out what I'm going to do. So I don't really have a definitive answer, but edit something editing related or, or something. I don't know. I'm not a talented runescape player by any at means. At least you're aware that you can't just like go live, you know? No. Like you, yeah. If, if, yeah. If I just go live, I die. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Internally, honestly. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. I've, well, real note, I've been there. Like, Twitter I quit workshop? Because oh, I realized that too. Like, yeah, Twitter mm. workshop, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I don't have a tweet, so <laughs> go ahead. I've been in Miami, so I didn't even yeah, think about Twitter. Yeah, that's, that's solid. I got I got one. Um, Wait, do I have uh, any saved? I might have some Cookie saved. Monster pajama pants are the international flag for teenage pregnancy. There you oh, go. Oh, man. That's <laughs> really good. That's good. Man, man. <laughs> that is that valid. Topical. Classic. Oh, no. Yeah, very topical. Not the cookie monster sweatpants. And I wish I would have thought to write that one down. Damn. He's got All the content the... brain. A little throwback, dude. A little throwback. That was beautiful. It is true, though. I remember having, like, yeah, like, people from middle school or, like, back. South Florida is just, like, a, it's that type of place. It really is. Mm. Yeah, we had a few of those in our Amen. hometown, Arizona. I only knew one guy <laughs> who actually wore those, unironically, and I saw him again seven years later, and he, now he's addicted to fentanyl, so, yeah. Yeah, no, that makes sense. <laughs> so, I yeah. mean, to be fair, I heard that's, that like, the sick. best possible outcome for yeah. Cookie Monster pajama wear. So, yeah, yeah. that's about as good as gets. It's a you cursed I mean? route, yeah. <laughs> uh, t uh, you one. said you had heat. Yeah, oh, I have Hamzy? four. Probably. Oh, go, go, Hamzy. Oh no! Uh, well, actually, it's right uh, it's 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 uh, somewhat inspired by our guest today. Uh, play with her dirt star. Call those ass tricks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god! Wait, what was the first part? A dirt star. <laughs> Bro, yeah, slang for butthole. Kind of look yeah. like one too. Yeah, no, that's Bush. good. That's like. Yeah. That's the first like, time he looks like one what? Yeah, dirt star. <laughs> You saying he a looks butthole. like a butthole? No, no. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Wait, what? I didn't even hear. What happened? Wow. He looks like a yeah. butthole? Yeah. No, no, no. no. That's... A, an asterisk kind of looks like a butthole. Like shift eight on uh, your keyboard? The little... Oh. oh <laughs> that makes way more sense. I thought you were sense. saying he looks like a butthole. Guy. <laughs> yeah, he real butthole-like, you know? You got a butthole face. <laughs> kind of looking inward. Mm. Like, guys, you that's kind of fucked up. You butthole face. You, have a, you got a sharp defined face i feel like buttholes kind of wrinkle in you know what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. mewing kind of makes you look like a butthole actually that's crazy <laughs> not you specifically just people in general. <laughs> just... <laughs> oh god um all right let's okay, see what cool. i got here i have uh i have four um Ooh, god. Oh, hmm. let him lose. first one call me a wizard the way she giving me mystic top no no <laughs> Pretty bad. that doesn't even yeah. make sense all right, you ready? Uh, Strawberry yeah, sure. blonde doesn't exist, you ginger fuck. <laughs> That's pretty good. That sounds, good. I like that, that one better. I like that, I like that one better. I mean, yeah, it's a little angry, but the, it's funny. It's pretty aggressive. Pretty yeah. aggressive. It I like the very... aggression, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, gambling doesn't destroy families. Your dad just sucked at it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like that one, That's the best one. That's the best one. And then... And then we got the cats and then the handshake emoji, uh, strippers. So it's cats, handshake, strippers. And it says, uh, we'll sit on your lap, but you can't touch them. <laughs> okay. That's kind 
That's, that's kind that of could be that's perceived. That's, that was it's like a bit kind of, of funny. That's a cat joke. You know, if, I either, like if I had to rank them, it's the third one first, second one okay, second. Hold on. Am I doing gambling third, doesn't destroy last. families? Your dad just sucked at it? Or am I doing strawberry blonde doesn't exist? Do ginger fuck. The okay. gambling is think, the funniest. I think the gambling is the funniest one. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Anybody else? Or you can say gambling doesn't destroy families if your dad doesn't suck at it. Yeah, I mean, same thing. But yeah, you know. <laughs> okay. We good. Like that. No one. Don't take no my workshop else. then. We good. Sorry guys. <clears throat> um, All right. I was God. awake. We... That's that's kind I have, of I have a lot one, to ask of me. I have one we workshopped in the past, and you guys told me yeah. to save, but I still think it sucks. Okay. Uh, what is it? What is it? We could revisit. It's, took a liberal out for uh, this actually back in Valentine's Day it was a while <laughs> ago, but took a liberal out for Valentine's Day, but she wouldn't shut up about uh, prostates or prostates. Oh, took a liberal oh. out for Valentine's Day, oh. but she... Oh, dude, I wish there was something there, but I'm too fucking stupid. I'm going to tweet mine. I think it's terrible. I don't want to yeah. talk, like but it was there, a, so I thought it would be... You'd have to work hard. I have a workshop. You have a workshop? Oh, yeah. got one. Go ahead, Cody. Uh, what do you got, dude? My girl's a fascist. She only fucks with my prostate. Because... <laughs> oh! You have to spell it pro-dash-day. Pro pro-dash-day, yeah. Pro pro yeah. Tweet that? I yeah. thought you tweeted yeah. that. I didn't tweet That's that. That's good. No, Tits. I thought Tits tweeted that. That actually... You tweeted did, I, did I tweet that? I don't know. I'm baked right now. You, you tweeted something similar. <laughs> well, you said my All girl's right, well, a I'm fascist. sending my tweet, she dude. We're behind up. schedule. We gotta, we gotta go to the Patreon. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go. Um, yeah, we gotta thank go you, everyone, show. for watching Season 2, Episode 39. 39? Uh, patrons, we love you. We'll see you on the Patreon podcast. Consider subscribing for the heat, for the juice. We're gonna get a little wild, a little weird. I'll take my shirt off on the Patreon podcast. Good night. Don't skip. We have some news for you because we have recently reworked our entire podcast format. We will still be conducting one normal podcast a week, but now tier one patrons will have access to a weekly exclusive Patreon podcast that's going to be even more based and more after dark. We've also updated our other tiers to include perks that allow you to directly interact with the podcast and influence the topics that we speak about. The Patreon will be linked in the description below.